funniest line in Kill Bill 2 is that manager of the strip club that's just looking at fucking dude with a thousand yard stare and you're fucking <laughs> dead. <laughs> I like it because he had his feet up. Dad. Shit. Kick your head. That Not became the- <laughs> this dude below me favorite phrase for an entire year. That shit kicker hat. I'm not the boss. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Three Black Geeks. <laughs> and I'm not the boss of them. I'm the boss of you. And I'm telling you to take that shit kicker hat at home. <laughs> no, don't the way he dancing look when he took it off. <laughs> <laughs> so only hard. thing missing from the adult was that fucking shit kicker had to just bro he, you, no, he man, never bro. needed it he didn't need it. he had what i call good rick guy like rick dalton death. rick dalton's hat was that immaculate hair is that the, the most whitest name hair. ever rick dalton <laughs> no that sounds like a man who wears uh, tight ass Levi jeans and yeah, roundhouse Lee, kicks the shit sir, out of people. Sir, Lee Dungarees, all right? Lee Dungarees. <laughs> Them Lee Dungarees. <laughs> he Them went for the no. bustable Lee Dungarees, nigga. <laughs> no, he went for the straight fit Wranglers. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, that's the Brett Favre pants, all right? We don't talk about I like Brett Favre look, pants. Look, look, all I know, all I know is that is that button up came for JC Penny. Quality. Oh, it yes. is quality. It Supreme is. Supreme quality. Every Folks, now and then when you see him with the sport coat. Folks, we're talking about the 1989 film Roadhouse. And let me tell you something. Caucasian martial arts has never looked so great as in Roadhouse, all right? Roadhouse. Never. Never. The, 19, the, 19, the 1989 Patrick Swayze classic. Eric Roberts wishes, even though he did Best of the Best, and that was a great film. So, you know. Showdown sir, in Little sir, Tokyo sir. could never. Dude, Michael Didikoff wish he could, okay? <laughs> Didikoff wishes he could, hey, all right? If you told Speakman me, wishes if they, he could. That's hey, look, if they said they couldn't get Patrick Swayze for Roadhouse, I think Michael Didikoff could probably do it. No, nah, I was just I thinking. Just because, be honest, well, I was thinking just be, Eric Roberts, though, bro. No, I was Eric thinking. Roberts I was thinking just because it's 1989. It kind of would fit, and it would just make for another reunion with these two being in another being in the movie for the third time in the eighties. <sighs> Kurt Russell, mm, man, a Kurt Russell road man. Kurt Russell Roadhouse. But see, Kurt Russell Roadhouse, he wouldn't be like a light martial artist. He'll actually be like a boxer or some shit. <laughs> either, I mean, either way, no, he'll be a brawler. He'll no, be no, a, no, brawler. Say a brawler. Yeah, he'd no. be a little bit of a brawler. No, he would be Sam Elliott's character. He yeah, would he fight would, yeah. like Sam Elliott. Dude, True. The she fart. Kurt Russell is Sam Elliott. That's the pairing that I would. Yes. There's time, folks. They're both alive. They're, they're still time. Movie together. We can get God them. damn it, put them in the movie together. I you know it's this. funny. Like Sam There's Elliott. Sam There's Elliott. We got, hey, look, we got Sam Jackson and Morgan Freeman in the movie. It took 30 years, but we finally got it. We finally I didn't tell we could put Bernie Mac and Sam Jackson in the movie, but we can't find a way. <laughs> Sam Elliott and Kurt Russell in a buddy comedy? What the hell, man? We, we got the up. Rock and Sam Jackson together. You mean to tell me? You mean we, to tell me? We got Marky Mark and Will Ferrell together. We had Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart together. We had Kevin Hart with a bunch of nobodies together. And you mean to tell me Frank Grillo and a bunch of other people together? You mean Frank to Grillo tell and me Anthony we can't get Kurt right? and Sam Elliott? Frank Gr- no, Frank Grillo and Stephen Dorff. Bro. In the worst movie ever, yeah, King of Killers. <laughs> but Christian, damn it, they're together. Yeah, look, Slater Kevin Gravo. Look, look, look. Come on now. We're blurred. So you know Kevin Gravo at home. Like, man, fuck all three of y'all. You know how long it took me to make that shitty ass movie? <laughs> now, hold on. I, I want y'all to. I, I really want everyone that's watching this to really. Kevin Gravo no, is Shaq. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait a second. Why I need are you everyone. so big for no I, reason? I, I need everyone to uh, to pay attention. To, like for everyone that's that's watching us live right now, I want y'all to take a look at this. Again, Kurt Russell. <laughs> Bro, it'll be perfect. Bro. Kurt Russell is that. Sam Elliott. Now, I mean, come now, on. I know. Hold on, hold on. 
within like what a couple of years prior to this, we got Kurt Russell and Sly Tango and Cash. Now, 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 hold on, Eris. Let's just stop it right here, though. I need everybody to see this. Do you know that women had the 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 the, gr- the gracious thing to happen to them? Oh my God, Patrick Swayze. Hello, Miss. Oh my God, who's that beautiful rugged man? It's just wet everywhere in the movie theater right there. Yeah, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> look, 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 look. We said he on Three Black Geeks before. Sam Elliott will make a man's dick hard. Yeah, that's how man he is. <laughs> Pause. There's, there's a phenomenon. Same here, right? picture. Same, same picture. picture. Same energy. Oh, same energy. Wait, same real energy. quick. Hey, 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 Chris. Let me throw this back at you right quick. Hold on. Throw Check it back. back. <laughs> First of all, Paul. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold I mean, on. I would. No. <laughs> hey, I would. I all y'all should. <laughs> Pause, nigga. Shit. Here, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Walking Dead in the eighties, Rick, nigga, and Daryl. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you something here. All right. There is something interesting. Coral. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sam Elliott would be great. Yeah. Sam Elliott would, like would be like the perfect. Sam Elliott would be the perfect Daryl. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Sam Elliott looks like a guy that actually kills his food in the woods and just cooks it over a, over a grill and shit. He got a cabin in the woods. Or shit. that's or, a man that skins deer and, and skins deer and perfectly makes jerky. That's no, the type of man. No, 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 like gentlemen, gentlemen. In the, according to uh, Roadhouse rules, he just finds his prey and punches the shit out of it. Folks, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something here. There is something interesting, right? Sam Elliott wearing all black. That was interesting. <laughs> but not like no, me did... seeing his Bush in the movie. That was interesting. Now, his... oh, that was interesting. Not about Sam Elliott, right? With women, and I want to say this right now, because even black women in particular, right? It's like an older guy. If he still, like, I think we said this before with fucking uh, 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 our boy, the African African dude from Blood Diamond. Um, uh, oh, Digimon Hansu. Digimon Hansu. There is something about him. He's cat daddy status to black women. They're like, oh shit, I fuck. Because it's you that great it. little goatee. And All the- right, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, damn. And that's what's, that's the appeal of Sam Elliott to women. Like, what women are going like, there? No, here's Sam Elliott. Going to the kitchen. Find me something to eat. Oh my God! Okay, <laughs> it's like, that in like fact, ordering me. In fact, it's, it's not even Sam. No, in fact, it's not even Sam Elliott saying it. It's his mustache. Mustache. It's it's all really the talking. Is. That's why I'll forever just see it moving. <laughs> That's why Sam Elliott is forever go to the robot chicken. Why? Why? Fuck yeah! <laughs> for me, for me, it's him as Mayor Wild West on Family Guy. <laughs> him on Family Guy, like Peter, you don't understand. And he's like, and Peter's like, wow, you're so manly. <laughs> so manly. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, he, yes, he does. He looks 60 Sam for 35 Elliot, years. Sam Elliott was 45 when he did Roadhouse. I need, y'all think, I, I, I need y'all to look at this again. This is 45. This what is a 45 year old white man in 1989. Now, hold on. <laughs> as equally as good, and let's throw that back up. Patrick Swayze was 37. Do you know what they were doing to men that were older than 35 years old in the 80s? Still put them in movies, but as the pretty guy. <laughs> you got put to the pasture on TV. Tom Selleck was like, fuck you, I got mad. Hey, Tom, you've been around too long. You got to slow it down. Why well, go on TV, can I? Ah, sure. You're not going to still be daddy, and he's still daddy to this damn day to all these old white ladies. Even fucking Ted dancing, it's like Ted dancing. No, Ted dancing, his stock did go down. Ted dancing stock went down. It's like he he hit dad status for movies, but he did Becker. And white women love Becker. <laughs> like, how you look? I feel like no, no. I feel like nobody outside of men watch. Becker. I'm men, all right. It's like I'm nobody. Dad. Nobody it's like that show, men. Arliss. It's like that show, Arliss. Gary Shandling. No woman watched that show. <laughs> oh, I, okay. Hold on, dude. stop it, D. First of all, you're talking about a good two to three percent of women actually watch Arliss. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very smart. I'm a defend. Hey, Eris, I'm a defend know, Arliss. Hey, look, look. I, I bet you are. And you know what? No woman could could pick out Robert Wool in a lineup. All right, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Which one's was... Robert Wool? Uh, him. <laughs> look, hey, like, hey. No. I'm Bill Paxton. The three percent of three percent of women that did watch those shows, they look like Janine Garofalo. All right, come on. They did. They did. And I'm gonna need you to leave. (laughs) I'm gonna need you to leave the unattractive. I got a tomboy haircut, but I act like a bitch toward men. group of white women alone okay the daria before daria man all right we need to leave them alone because they grew up and told their daughters to have blue hair <laughs> and complain about everything okay <sighs> okay let's leave them alone that was, that was, that, that was the Arles, society. that was the arlis demographic right there it's like oh there's the women they're lining up. <laughs> you watched, like, you watched arlis didn't you <laughs> you watched arlis did you man? You ain't had no friends, huh? You the only girl in your classroom. <laughs> but nah, that ain't even like that ain't even what that show was about, huh? <laughs> you ain't never played a sport, huh? <laughs> look, 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 Rod. You just have to accept got it. Wet up. You saw Rod before, huh? I take offense on just, Becker. You, you just gotta understand, Rod. Like, you need to. You, point five you're a black, look, look, I tell this to Chris all the time. You're a black man that watch Becker. Shut up. <laughs> I say that all the You time. represent the point two percent of black people that watch Actually, Becker. Actually, no, I will say this. My dad watched every episode too. <laughs> so I <laughs> but nah, uh, but nah, bro, again, house. hold on, hold on. I don't think we said this. Hello, everybody. I know it's late. Three Black Geeks, please like, click, subscribe, comment as much as you can. We love it. Donate if you got the money you can. And uh, yes, yes, we are continuing to give stuff. We're continuing to put stuff on our website, uh, on our website and on our YouTube. And just to let everybody know, we got banned off of Twitch on the last episode and we don't give a fuck. Also, also we uh, got a new section on the website, uh, these blogs on movie reviews, adding on top of our new movie reviews, which it creates, as I say, an uh, interesting caveat here where I think we're going to actually be doing a lot more movie reviews than we normally were where we're just watching movies in theaters. Oh, we're hitting the tubies and all that stuff and throwing the occasional blog and videos up on there too. So we're spicing it up for you guys. Creativity. Yes. Cinema. You see, it's all about synergy here at Three Damn Black it. Geeks. <laughs> hey, Roadhouse was missing a, a Gary Busey. It didn't you know need that, one. You it know? did not need a Gary know? Busey. We didn't. Do you you know, 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 which is that? which is shocking for me to say. But, but Roadhouse, too. Roadhouse did not need Gary Busey. But we got a Busey Fun fact, two. though. Roadhouse 2, Jake Busey. Busey. I'm not even yeah. joking. We got Teeth a Busey. <laughs> I love how he how he inherited his dad's overbite. I thought that was just and awesome. somehow he popped up uh, alongside uh, Scott Kahn in fucking Hawaii Five O. I will it never get so over good. the fact that you keep on that you brought up a Jake Busey. I forgot what we was talking about. He like Jake Busey's in that. Like shut the fuck, oh Chris. You always bring it up. Oh my God, Jake was in that. <laughs> I forgot what show it was. As the uh, as another point two percent of black fan that watched Shasta McNasty. You gotta know these that's things. what it was. Shasta McNasty, you that's told me that. Like, that was not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, I think Jake Busey and <laughs> I think Jake Busey and Jamie Kennedy had the same producer trying to make magic the same way. And Jamie Kennedy just got lucky because WB didn't give a fuck what they put on television at the time. <laughs> Scott Khan ducked and dodged the allegations, like, nah, bro, I'm bigger than this. <laughs> nah, I'm bigger than this. My dad gave me a career, <laughs> James Khan. What you talking about, son? Okay. Speaking of which, I saw James Conn's last movie. I saw James Conn's last movie. It was um, God, what's the name of that movie? It was a Pierce Brosnan. It was actually, it was actually eh, decent, straight to. De- it was, it was, you know, straight to V. Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, uh Pierce uh, Brosnan pay a retired assassin. It's yeah, yeah, it was that movie. What's the name of that John? It was, was that though, no, for real. It was him playing was the retired just, assassin. I was just guessing the fucking plot here. The fact that I'm right <laughs> is just. Amazing. And I you, have can't one more. Be, you can't just be guessing all willy nilly, Chris, because a lot of times you will you will stumble and accurately guess something that went straight when to you DVD. Said James Cod and Pierce Brosnan. That's, that's like an old, not Liam Neeson type movie. So it really was. It was but it like, went straight to DVD. 
It was Pierce Brosnan with a Southern accent. I huh. know anybody else you hear that out of, you like, come on, it's Pierce Brosnan <laughs> with a Southern he, accent. He played. He, he was a work. He was a Brit playing a fucking Irishman in the. <laughs> I'm that was still the greatest thing ever. Him playing that and all, wasn't that? The he killed my dog. <laughs> he killed, killed my dog. dog. <laughs> I don't have the names. I swear to God Almighty, I didn't tell you what he did, but it's, I just love it again. Jackie Chan upside the head with a gun. Anyway, no, uh, no, no, no. Jackie Chan doing this. Press the button. <laughs> Dude, he likes it. It is, now, upload- no, it is oh, no, now upload. It is now upload. It is now uploaded to the internet. <clears throat> Press the button. Doop. Wait a minute, that's the wrong button. Who did you call? <laughs> Anita Moore, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, get off of him. Get off of Jackie. Get off. <laughs> Jackie, ch- Jackie, choking him out. <laughs> you literally hear a Chinese nigga fight back. Nigga fight back. <laughs> Yeah, November man, I think it wasn't November man. Oh, no, it's not. Man. It's recent. It's very recent. Oh, okay, but it's not, actually um, recent. It came not, out early this year. Anyway, but not Roadhouse is an unhinged movie, and as somebody that has traveled across the country from California to Maryland, it's I feel that's a very believable town that would have a drug dealer number, running shit. Number one, number one, Chris. See, no, you can't say that. This is not an unhinged movie. The timeline. It's 1989. This shit was Tuesday morning, okay? In yes. the middle of nowhere right. in America with four Kansas City. This is Kansas City. This is Kansas yeah. City. Kansas City. In the middle of Kansas City, 1989. This is a Tuesday morning, bro. Out for a second. That's here. Kansas City? Yes. No, no, no. All three no, mountains no, 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 in the no. background for that He's to be no, Kansas no. City. The guy didn't say it was Kansas City. He said on the outskirts of Kansas City, so it's outside Still. the city limits. Still. In the city limits, my nigga. <laughs> just I just saying. find it funny that this drug lord took over this they town. Look, like, hey, look, put it this way, Chris. 100? They all they all go to Chiefs games out there, okay? They all see the Chiefs and they all see the Royals, okay? <laughs> nah, like, so Jack Dalton is basically combat bouncer extraordinaire. He's a bouncer extraordinary <laughs> somehow, you know. And you see at the beginning of the movie, he's like in the upscale bar in some place in the city. And he has a specialty bouncer because, see, Jack Dalton actually has no rick dalton rick dalton actually has his lineup of bouncers where they are professional they wear polo shirts you know it's it's great me as somebody all three of us have gone to clubs i've never seen bouncers that well dressed they're just niggas in the front door with with black t-shirts that's all they wear is black tees (laughs) i did Actually, oh where? god, get ready! No, for no, 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 no. Get hey, ready hey, for both of y'all knees to hurt when D say this. Hey. I, the best looking bouncers I see, seen that were all in some type of uniform. Love nightclub. Get the fuck out of here! Mm. Ooh, by the way, Chris, all in isn't, suits, but, all kind of, all kind of match with the colors. Yeah. By the way, uh, Chris is um, Patrick Swayze plays james dalton james dalton james i don't know dalton. both of us will say rick. you said rick because of what you saw it earlier yeah james dalton but like he's like the bouncer i guess <clears> he's <throat> like shit. a john dalton to me but whatever first yeah, of, yeah. hold on first of all first of all come on going off of like going off of the uh, the nickname i chose here he is known as the cooler yes the yes. cooler is yes. like that is like the head bouncer above all the other bouncers yeah, yeah. Now I gotta yeah, wonder. Like can that fly? bounce? It's like the camp the bounce, captain bouncer. You know, you gotta you, you gotta the, beat all the other bouncers before you get to him. The captain Ginyu of the Ginyu Force the of bouncer is the eighty nine equivalent of my man that is now the memes the security guy from Chicago. That be that is James Dalton in this movie, except better. And he can actually fight. wait. A minute, are you talking about my man for Detroit? They be like, yeah, right, Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That is James Dalton, except better. Because Jay Dalton kind of You're kind of right because in real life he sucks telling people what to do, how to get out of situations. He's actually a legend in Detroit because he's faster than the cops. Him and his people actually go to different neighborhoods, help people from getting beat up, help people from stopping violence and all the rest of that. So yeah, there you go. Because Dalton's <laughs> right. one thing when he so teaches his bouncers f- is be nice. No, no, hold on. First of all, this is in New York City. The yeah, beginning, York. the like the beginning of this like takes place in, in New York City. Crack era New York City. New York. You know, Crack era New York City. 
<laughs> and of all things to be pre Giuliani, New York City. Of all things to be is to be stoic and cool headed. All right. <laughs> of all bouncers. Yeah. And <laughs> the man, <laughs> the man knows, okay, I know how to take this person out and not get angry. Like base put it like this. If Bob Ross was a bouncer instead of a painter, how cool would that be? Mm, no, it'd be terrible. Because I no, think, think Bob Ross outside of that, outside of that room, you might as well play the, the music off of Doom. Because no, seriously. I bash a ball Ross, Afro and everything, doing MMA moves on niggas. Now, That's I would what say I this. See. I would say this. I I'm did. gonna put you in the full Nelson. Now, see what I got you right there? You can't move. Now I'm gonna apply pressure to this part of the artery. Now it's gonna make you go to sleep. See, there you go. Right, see, there you go. See, 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 see. Yeah, happy happy down. You don't gotta happy look, happy you don't have to drop them on the ground. You can lay them down very easily. Yes. <laughs> There's no such thing as uh, accidents, it's happy accidents. Yeah. Sometimes you know you, you know what I'm saying. You see what happens if I, like now if I squeeze this nerve here, he's gonna shit himself. <laughs> it's brown. Right. Right. We don't uh, that's the funny thing about shitting yourself. You know, we all do it, and sometimes it's involuntary. It's okay if it's involuntary. A shirt doesn't mean it's a shit. <laughs> wait, wait, D. Oh no, you gotta say it the right way. Now you you were on the right track when you said that. <laughs> Happy little shirt. No, no, no. It's all of it. No, it's like the funny thing about shitting yourselves is that we all do it, and you can do it too. <laughs> do, do, do. You, you, know, do you could have got. You could have got. You could have gotten. And you know, I hate to use my French here. You could have gotten the fuck out of here, but you know, we're, we're in this position right now. So sometimes you got to make the best of the situation. Man. That's what we. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, put it. Uh, I, and all, I'm well, always saying that too, right here. This is humble. <laughs> humble. I'm only saying that because Bob Ross, you know, was in the military. Yeah, yeah. So it works. Now, now, see, this is what you do. See, when you get a bigger opponent, just hit him in the knee, and he'll just tuck over right there, right there, like a couple of blocks. Look, look, look now, you see the, now you see this. Like, you see this mountain of a man right here. Once I take out his knee. He goes down like a stone. It's it's wonderful. Like God shows us amazing things, doesn't he? <laughs> Bob, Bob Ross, I could watch if if I was if I was in heaven and they said you get one channel, I'd be like, I watch Bob Ross paint stuff. Yes. Oh my god. Give me all the seasons. Just give me all the seasons. Even the ones with his son painting is great. Dude, like, his son, his assistant. There's been other people besides his son that painted on that show. They all paint very well. It's crazy. They oh, learn from the man. Put him, we're gonna put this guy right here in the head scissors. Happy little head scissors. Now, if you're yeah. in this position to put a guy in the head scissors, a lot of a lot of things had to happen, you know. But you know, in life, a lot of things do happen, and sometimes it's <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Because, because at the end of the day, they've had enough. I will say this. One thing it tosses them. I... Wait, I'm sorry, Chris. It tosses them out the door. Take care of yourself and God bless. Do, 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 do. For more there you go, people. So, I painted the like image Bob for Ross. you. I painted the image for you. Bob Ross doing the roadhouse. The joy more, of ass kicking with Bob Ross. Yes. For more joy of ass, for more joy of ass kicking and other shows like this, please donate to PBS and viewers like you. <laughs> that shit would be on public access. There would be that shit would have five seasons, and then it'll be only done. five seasons. Just oh, five. Only five. Don't need to overdo it. Don't need to overdo it. Imagine that. Look, imagine if you will. Somebody, yo, man, I still got my Bob Ross gloves, man. Really? Yeah, but I still got my gloves back in the day. Hey, it's Bob Ross. This is happy thoughts. Oil. Happy thoughts. Hi, right, Bob Ross here. Uh, I have a special guest here. Why don't you come on in, neighbor? It's Mr. Rogers. Yes, Mr. Mr. Rogers, Rogers, Sam um, Elliott character, Mr. Rogers. Now, 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 Hello, now um, Mr. Rogers, you were in the military yourself, right? Can you show everybody your tattoo? Well, you know, I don't normally do this. <laughs> now, as you see, this is a hooker that I had had in Saigon. It's like the PBS Cinematic Universe. D, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Every I'm time, sorry, wait, wait, Chris. wait, wait. The PBS CU. <laughs> D, hey, Sesame Street's under fire. Who's going to help? 
D, hang on. Wow, Every Rock shows up. D, hang on. Hang on. Every time. Every time Mr. Rogers rips his shirt off, like a like video game logic, it rematerializes. Rematerializes <laughs> back on. Or no, he rips it off. He's like, thank you, Mr. Rogers. Well, you know, I had to help because you know the children has to. <laughs> he's buttoning up a new one <laughs> out of nowhere. Hold on, hold on. And while he's doing it, putting on his loafers, and you know what? Yes, Bob, I <laughs> don't take a lot. <laughs> Nah, but nah, but seriously, I've though. seen him choke out a man with that damn <laughs> with that damn card again. Boy, man, think about that. They do a job with move to a flu 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 flu. He comes out that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, carries the body over. Look, carries the body in front of him. The body gets shot. <laughs> Rogers take out the gun. <laughs> Coming to theaters, Patrick Swayze is Bob Ross and Sam Elliott is Mr. Rogers in Roadhouse Two. Electric Boogaloo. Not Electric Boogaloo, man. It's, it's Roadhouse. No, 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 no. No, come on. Let, let, let's keep this. Let's keep this 90s. Roadhouse 2, The Return. No, Roadhouse 2, Redemption. <laughs> Roadhouse. Why would it be Redemption? It's always Redemption. And, and the thing is, who, who, who? Roadhouse who 2, redeemed? The Revenge. Or Re Roadhouse, the 2, Roadhouse 2, The Revenge. <laughs> it's either Revenge or Redemption. Reloaded. Reloaded. Underground. Uncut. Uncut. <laughs> it's always the same with these movies, yeah. But nah, but return nah. of Roadhouse. <laughs> the return of Roadhouse. History. Which means, hold on. Which so means the Roadhouse come back together and started killing people? No, like, here's what doesn't make sense about that title. See, you would think that a movie like this, they would work in the title Roadhouse somewhere within this. How long is this? 114 minute long movie. Somebody would have said think, Roadhouse. You would think. No one said it. Peter Griffin. You would think him going Roadhouse. You would think they would said that. They ain't say one they time. They never in said show. it not one time in this movie, movie. And, I, and I believe that's where the joke came I, from. I is that no that. one said Roadhouse? Like, yes, look, the one fun guess. thing about that joke, though, is the one fun part, and this is real legit. When they wrote that, Patrick Swayze just passed away, and they actually said, "No, we keeping that joke," and they kept the joke in there, and they dedicated that episode to Patrick Swayze. And it's actually every now and did. Every now and then, when you hear Peter yell out Roadhouse, it's like, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> sometimes it's like, that wasn't funny. And then sometimes, Roadhouse. It's like, shut up, Peter. No, but this was, this was, like, number one, I love the music in this movie because. Oh, I, it was great. Because I feel like it's one, it's a type of music that, you know, black folks will sit there and never cop to admit that they enjoy tap. They tap their feet a little bit to it. But then it's like, damn, this music is actually, this shit I works. Hate I hate it. I hate it. As a kid that was raised on on partial uh, jazz and blues, sir. appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Rod. You, Thank you. Thank Shout you, out Rod. to Rod Turner. As a dude that was raised on blues music, partially blues music, the second I heard that dude start saying "Manish Boy," I like shut your blind <laughs> cracker ass up. Wait a minute. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Wait. 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 D, you mean to tell me you you weren't feeling you weren't feeling Royal Farms? Uh, Huey Lewis in the news. I mean, sir, that was uh, Michael Kamen that did the music for this. I did not like CC <laughs> King. <laughs> I didn't like none of this music. Yo, sir, you need to put a Koofy on his head now. <laughs> of him doing this with a Koofy on his head. <laughs> Hey, look, Ooh. I said Royal Farms, and D just had to go and kill my joke. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. The second I heard this, uh, might as well. Now, now, number one, shout out to this. He is blind, and yeah, him playing the guitar like that is very cool, actually. I will admit that. Yeah, I cannot deny that. But outside of that, this was some of the non seasoningest blues I have ever heard, and they kept playing it throughout the whole movie. I don't care if y'all tapped y'all heads to this. Like, what the fuck kind of crack is you? You know, you know what it reminds me of. It's like half, um, like no half the room. It's like this, Chris. I don't like blues made for Trump voters. I don't. I, I can't. <laughs> First off, that was good, wholesome 
white man blues. All right, come on. It's like, like here's my thing. I always say this, and I say it as joking, but I don't mean mean it as joking sometimes because I say this. Because white people love copying our music. Throughout this whole movie, if you looked at the, he listened to the music. It's like that's an old black song. That's an old um, black song. That's an old black song. Wow, did you do anything original? Then when you hear something original, that sounds like shit. And then when you hear something uh, and they copy all the black people, you're like, oh, that sounds a little bit better. Now, listen, D, first of all, that is uh, one Jeff Healy, who uh, passed away on March 2nd, 2008. Canadian blues, rock, jazz singer, guitarist, and songwriter. Man, had many right talents. There. You said Canadian. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to let it go then. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let it go. There. Drake is going to. He had hold on AI to put on his. Music. Hold on, he dude had a number five single on Billboard Hot 100 with Angel I Eyes. That, I remember that song. Like I said, like I said, <laughs> I can respect him. I, I can respect this gangster. I really do. I thought the way he played the guitar. Oh, I loved it. I loved the way that dude played the guitar. But hey, this music. Fuck this music. <laughs> Jim That's Moore. me. I'm Jim sorry. It's all good. Look, look. Um. Wayne's World really fucked my head up about Jim Morrison. So the fact that this dude did a cover of a Jim Morrison song, it's like, so it's Jim Morrison. So, so, so like. I need see what I'm saying. How did that sound like? <laughs> I need white people to answer this for me. Jim Morrison, I'm still wrapping my head. Is there like, because I feel Jim Morrison is beloved probably way more than any other rock artist. I'm still trying to understand what was the appeal of him. He just died young. He died yeah. young and like James like Dean around young. that same time with Jimi Hendrix died. All right. So that's the appeal. Like Jimi huh? Hendrix, I get because you know, fucking Jimi Hendrix, yeah. All that shit, look, you know? look, I'm gonna be real with you. That's the reason why I don't like this music because Jimmy, Jimmy made what I like to call like his the way he did rock. If you really listen to the guitar. He made that guitar fucking howl, like sing. Like you can feel it, young. And I understand why his music is still beloved to this day. But every other dude, every other white dude that tried to sound like Jimmy, Jimmy when it comes to that guitar shit, sounded whack to me, huh? Like, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to sound like Jimi Hendrix. You know, like, you know, I can tell who you're trying to be like. That's what I don't like. You know? That's just me. Like I said, I'm going to let it go. But one interesting thing about the music, the band that was in the very beginning of the mu of movie, that was the same band that was in the until dust till dawn. Mm -hmm. that's so that lines up. Throw that one out there. You know, so it's like the music I did love. I mean, Otis, Otis Redding, fucking these arms of mine, like that. That shit, like it's Otis Redding, like nigga. That's yeah. Otis. That's Otis. Otis. You, 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 so like, you think I'm a hate on Otis, nigga? Come on now. Nah, but oh, like, they did the cover. No, they did. They also did the cover for uh, Long Tall Sally. Yeah, yeah, you know, complete with uh, gross. <laughs> to, to complete with uh, white bimbos dancing to said uh, music in this uh, movie. Which look, 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 put it this way: <laughs> look, there was only a dash of hot sauce on there. They ain't uh, it on it. That's how deep. Which I gotta out. say, which I gotta say, sir. See, now, Chris, you call this movie unhinged. Today, people would call it problematic. Um, look, look, let's talk about this. Um. They're doing oh, there's quite, they're, there's they're, quite they're, the scenes of unpro of problematic. They're, they're, there, there were. Now, and... now here's, but here's the thing. They're doing a Roadhouse House remake, right? I think we talked about this when, when we did Point Break in that I think Hollywood fundamentally tries to recreate the magic that the original movie deal for remake. And like I remember watching the Point Break remake. It's like the movie tried to go super serious and they missed why the original is so beloved and like i said as much as i like the new guy that was the villain in point break he didn't have that charisma that patrick swayze had to make that work you know True. and so when i look at the roadhouse remake it's like they got the pieces there but then i see conor mcgregor there and i'm like oh boy they really it's like this movie was silly but i don't know if they went into it wanting to be silly it came off like a standard action movie that we got and then when i see the new one it's like it's trying to do i can stuff like it's i can just, mm. no I, what i can the best way i could sum it up for you chris is row house 89 is a movie like that put in theaters today that movie would have went straight to tubi or or a dvd exactly it would have been it, it, yeah <clears throat> because it almost did in 89 to be honest with you yep 
and, and you that, can tell that's just the weird thing about that. You can tell just from how this movie was shot, paced, acted, uh, choreographed, scripted. This is a movie that looked like it didn't, <clears throat> like it didn't really call. It only cost them fifteen million to make. Movie made sixty one million at the box office. You know how many pe- see, and that's the thing. I think there were certain movies. That's that- a Godzilla move right there. Yeah, I like but <laughs> Godzilla David- minus one. Well, first off, no special effects here, so you get the old. And that, you gotta realize this is eighty nine. They have fifteen million dollars, which back then that's a lot of money to be able to do what they did in this movie: crush cars, blow up cars with the shotgun. Because apparently that is a lot of money when you really think about it. Yeah, that is a, a lot, lot of, of money. money. Yeah. And, and for it to get sixty one <laughs> at that time period. Like, that's a feat in and of itself. But I think the movie works because, yeah, the script is nothing to write home about. But it's Swayze's, like, charisma and pairing up with Sam Elliott and Kelly LeBrock and just those things. It's like, yeah, these actors are the reason why people like, like, it ain't the fucking everything else. It's I, it's the people. I, the I, 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 will, I will actually go this far. I will actually go this far. I think it was it was going to be a mid-movie and they knew it was going to be a mint movie. But what they didn't, I think what even the filmmakers didn't realize is that how beloved the movie got. I think that's the type of stuff you can't predict that yeah. a movie's yeah. going to get that little spark of it's legendary. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think like, because they probably went into this the same energy, that, like, especially when it comes to, uh, wait a minute, I just realized something. We didn't mention that this movie was made by our favorite Hollywood I was getting, producer. I was getting to that. Sir, you you finished that. So, this movie, number one, let's, I gotta give the credits where credit is due the here. The, no. I said, get, the movie, number one, was directed by Rowdy Harrington. This was a screenplay by two people, David Lee Henry and Hillary Hinken. A story, of course, by David Lee Henry and produced <clears throat> by the man, Joel the Bump Silver. This guy, this illustrious Jewish man. This man produced $15 million worth of greatness. I'm like, that got, I'm- hold on, that got slapped. I repeat, slapped in the face with Razzie Awards. I mean, they called. They they said Patrick Swayze was the worst actor in this movie. I mean, people were relentless. Sorry, the critics were relentless with this movie. And they can fucking be, but do we have Bigfoot in there? We have fucking they did. Bigfoot in there. They did. Which, by the way, you know, and D's not lying. They literally put Bigfoot in the movie. I want the people, Bigfoot I monster want, truck. I want people to understand something here. Um, if you were a kid, Bigfoot had you by the fucking balls. Especially if you're a kid that had like Hot Wheels cars and stuff. And like, I benefit from the fact that my dad took me to car shows and took me to monster truck shows at the US Air Arena multiple times. I'm sorry, sir. It's called the Capital Center. Thank you very much. The Cap Center. Like, Bigfoot had it. Cause like, I remember movies where anybody that was rich, they just casually owned a fucking monster truck. Like it was just a regular vehicle. Like, like today, like this movie's villain here. Yeah, yeah. Just casually, and and Sue said this up on offline. Oh, I, I, oh either, I got you. Either, I got you. Either a monster truck or a I, tank. That's Sorry, that's what I was gonna say. No, I was just gonna say that. See, when you look at him villain like this, look at this guy. All right, Brad Brad Wesley played by one Ben Gazar. Right, his, his, and you could have picked a better eighties. I got money guy to be in this he movie. He pays for that. top of the line for henchman, his commander, his second in command here with the sh- with the aviator shades, who knows uh Caucasian karate too. Jimmy Reno. Yes, Jimmy Reno. First of all, you saw how when he first introduced him into the movie, uh he comes in with the with the freaking cue stick, right? Now, notice that he was rocking all the denim. I get it. It's 1989. Game didn't necessarily come out yet, but I shouted when I saw it. Yo, check out Jimmy Kane over here. <laughs> Jimmy Kane. <laughs> Boy, it looked like he came out of a straight up Levi's commercial. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I, I get it. I get it. The way he was introduced, he was supposed to look like he was, uh, you know, considering his name is Jimmy. Like, yo, is he supposed to be Jimmy from Double Dragon? My, my nigga was fucking nigga Dalton. 
nigga, <laughs> don't. I know. Bro, he was so Billy Kane. Yo, bro, when he, he fucking got that pool stick and was just flipping, I was like, ah, he knows fucking martial arts too. <laughs> like, bro, like I said, Jimmy Kane over here. But no, oh, I thought you about to do a move with that junk. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, where the where the cue stick splits into like nine sticks and shit. <laughs> First off, <laughs> nothing was 89. Nothing screams 80s like Caucasian karate, started by my man Michael Dudikoff. Let me tell you something. Uh, 80s karate, but, not 80s karate, Caucasian karate is very interesting. Because the Caucasian karate really started in the late 70s. And not from, the, uh, it's basically because Count Dante put in a whole bunch of comic books that you can learn the dim mock and shit like that. And white people thought if they just go, oh, oh, that they can be Folks, karate what do you, masters. What do you, what do you think? Art Which is only really from? led to a couple things: a whole lot of people getting white belts and quitting, and it also led to a whole lot of white boys hearing this from their mama. Turn that shit down. You know what I mean? Also, also um, folks, let's also it, also, forget, it, it also led to one guy telling Hollywood, "I took place in the yeah, he, yeah, what he said. Um, <laughs> he got a movie. Wow, he got a movie. Do you know that this nigga got <laughs> all, all you had to do was be in a short film and then talk to the director of said short film about all of these lies that you made up. And he said, you know what? That's a pretty good thing. Next thing you know, Mortal Kombat's on the screen. Like, I don't get it either. The you 80s were magical. Good. You also, hold on, you're also you also stand at you will go down in history as the man who made the muscles from Brussels have a career. Bro, bro, you I gave know. this man a career, and how? And this is how you repay him by. <laughs> sorry, this is how you show your appreciation for said career by souring the relationship that you made with Van Damme. Oh, man, and you Stolen. know the great part? You tell people who won awards, who had belts, who are in the freaking. <laughs> Uh, kickboxing MMA Hall of Fames that's fake. <laughs> you tell people that's fake. Meanwhile, hold on. How hey, hey, Frank, quick question How many miles per hour was that roundhouse kick of yours again? Here's my thing that kills me Frank Dukes is a big liar, but Frank Dukes inspired Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre, uh, the, the, the writers of Street Fighter, the writers of Mortal Kombat. For every bad thing, there's a good thing. So, and then guess what? Hollywood hey, look, did. look, 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 look. In the in the in the footsteps of Austin St. John, <laughs> at least we got Mercedes because of this nigga. That's all I'm. <laughs> I would like. To, I would. I would. All, I mean, I would like to say, and then Hollywood kind of tried to erase that notion by giving us the uh, second coming of Bloodsport with a movie called The Quest. Let me tell you something. By the time the quest came out, the the, the cards, the house of cards, were tumbling over <laughs> on Mr. Dukes. Because you know what happened? People were like, that didn't happen. <laughs> Niggas in the CIA was like, who? <laughs> That's what happened. Anyway. Dude, you can't even Thank you. That is a perfect name. That's a good one. You Row House Kevin, 2, The Quickening. Kevin, you, you, you are consistent. Come on, sir, you're consistent. <laughs> no, but it's like my man he got this dude got nega fucking Dalton. Like, okay, so anyway, so, so back no, up. no, you're right, nega Dalton, and let's be real, mid Midwest second story guys, <laughs> and Dollar Dollar General Bob, <laughs> Donald General. Bob. You know what's been? I like that John William that Young group. played Tinker. You always got to get the overweight, the overweight second story guy. <laughs> I love how they always get a fat guy, and the fat guy for whatever a reason dumb fat has guy. mid punching skills and can can survive fights like this. Only in the eighties, man. My man, quote unquote, died by a bear, and that was a he didn't die. He didn't even die. I know. I'm just saying. That's why I said die. <laughs> no, my sons were watching that part with me. He's like, did the bear kill him? I'm like, don't worry. He's have he's going to have the best line in the whole movie after the, when he gets up from that. <laughs> this guy, so so so, I'll say so so. The Roadhouse, he, he he, my man comes in there like he's the fucking district manager of a fucking outhouse steakhouse and shit, and pulls out a card. Kevin Teague, 
<laughs> Frank <laughs> Tillman. My man looks like he owns a fucking chain of out outback steakhouses and shit. He that really does. Look like he has two carpet stores. <laughs> <laughs> he owns an actual Texas Roadhouse. Speak of the devil. Um, That's the motherfucker that donates to the church very, very well, but he is like sleeping with every underage thing he can. That's the type of guy he is. <laughs> the waitress is at his fucking restaurant. It's like the most creepiest shit ever. But nah, he uh, hi, he wants to hire Dalton to help clean up his bar. And uh, does adult say I want five thousand up front? And my man said five thousand up front, five hundred a night, and you pay all the medical expenses. That's fair. I'm like, all right. I came into some money. I can hey, work with that. Hey, 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 imagine you could do that today. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna need about hundred twenty thousand a year. You pay for medical and everything, including the most expensive medical. And it'd be like, sir. Get the fuck out. No, no, no. They were like, well, no, see, but the thing is, if they know that he's the best, but they still going to try to renegotiate, they, they would say some shit like, uh, sir, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if I could put that together, but because you're the best, you're going to hit him with the, with the iced tea. Hey, check this out, homeboy. God is on your side. Nah. He sent me to you. So let's just do this thing. You sign me, you pay me what I, you pay me what I'm worth. Bow. I'm outie when it's all done. Just my man giving them look like that sounds uh fair. Let's go. And I'm just mad that you said iced tea. <laughs> That's what you do. You gotta give them the Scotty. God is bless you, you damn brass. So 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 so, 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 so God James, sent me to you. <laughs> so James has a process that he goes on. Um, he drives a nice Mercedes Benz that clearly he barely drives because because of the line of work that he's in, you know, you can't just work, go up to a kind of you know bar like that and keep driving that car every day so he buys a beat up deuce and a quarter with pop-up lights four tires barn door lights barn door <laughs> lights four tires and you know at first you're kind of like well, why is he doing that when well, you figure when well, you got when you got that kind of line of work um people gonna come after you yeah People are gonna find out what car you like, what car you own, because number one, you're the last person to leave. So they know that oh, the bouncer, that's his car. And then like, <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna vandalize the shit out of it. That's why um when they want bouncers or doormen, especially I can say Lisa here in DC, you have to wait. Like I could pass, but I'm not tall enough. Right. <laughs> like, like I'm big enough to impose, but it's like, dude. You're not six feet tall. Oh. <laughs> Me, but you like... have to. You have to. Because you know why? There's going to be one asshole. There's always going to be one asshole. Swing. <laughs> and then, I couldn't and do it because. If they ask, there go your car. Or like, they're going to be I... waiting at your car. And I couldn't and listen, I couldn't do it because like my only go to would be two Joe Pesci characters from Casino and Goodfellas just being the toughest short sure. guy in the club. And you know, I would get fired because I probably would I probably would accidentally kill somebody. Actually, Eric, allegedly. Actually, Eric, you'd be like my cousin Vinny, where he did the po juke and then yes! <laughs> walk to the right, like walk to the left. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest shit ever. It was like, bam! I'm like, yo. No, but see, see, but that's the difference. I, I like, like I said, my go-to is Joe Pesci. I would just pick, pick random shit that Joe Pesci did in a movie and use that to my me, advantage. Me, I just... if, if I, if, you know, if I gotta, if I gotta reach over, like, and grab a freaking ballpoint pen and start going to work. I mean, nah, now me, would I go? Just... Hold on, would I go for the jugular? No, I would do like Roadhouse. Hit him in the knee, just uh, right in the knee. Take him out. Me, they I drop just, like a stone. Not me. I'd be like fucking. I'd be like, do you enjoy breathing? And I pull a fucking Denzel from Who Got Key Got Game when he jabbed that motherfucker in the throat. See, 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 see but Chris. Uh, look, yeah, CJ, exactly. The, the CJ, CJ. But listen, sir, you you're already like five from seven feet, so you know you already have that imposing figure. Here's the thing. I'm. I have no. And team. you wrestled, sir. First, I'm 40 years old. I can't stand these new fucking Gen Z kids who look like they built to be fucking NFL athletes. But but CJ, he, unless I turn to Ric CJ, Flair he, and I just ah CJ low, low, low. CJ, he, 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 no, no, no CJ he, CJ, you have this thing called reach. 
You got reach. True, true. true I'm gonna be real. Both of y'all talking too much. Just shoot a nigga. That's what I'm gonna do. I like you're like y'all. See, see it's always got me. Y'all talking about, like, oh, no, 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 no. No, hold on. No, no, wait. Got a hold game. On. No, you like no, something, bro. No, like, stop it. Stop it. First of all, first of all, CJ, I already said my go to is Joe Pesci, meaning I have to pick a violent reaction. Now, if you said to shoot somebody. Then that would also qualify if somebody would have break in my house and just shoot him. You tell me, you tell me to risk catching the gun charge. Harris, I imagine you if you were a bouncer, you would come to me with your eye with, with your whole shit fucked up. You be like this, if I poke that nigga eye out. And <laughs> what you show me your thumb and the eye still there? Here's me. We're getting sued because of you, nigga. And this one, you fired. You're fired. Nah, nah. I'd be like this whole again, thing was lopsided. I'd, I'd be nah, like Eddie Burke. I just walk. Actually, actually, Chris, I, I, I'm sorry. Real quick. Here's your, here's no, no, no. Real quick. Real quick. Right? No, no, no. Real quick. <laughs> no, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. D, this would be me. Like, so what happened? Like, like, what happened to that guy? I hold the pin with the eye still attached to it. He ain't gonna be seeing for a while. Eris, this is what I'm talking about. Um, First off, you broke five five of your ribs. You broke your other hand trying to punch the guy. And I'm just going to be real with you. I love you to death. I don't want to see nobody spin you like that no more, okay? You can't poke people in the eye. Does this look like a simple poking? <laughs> this is like a simple poking. Eris, what else is on that? Look, Eris, what else is on that pit? Why are you trying to bring up bullshit, nigga? <laughs> No, no, no. no you know, why is there like something else on the pin? Like, it's like, what else is on that pin? Why are you trying to bring up old shit, nigga? No, no. You say that, you, like, you did all this and did you all this. that. twice, did you? No, hold on. No, Maybe, hold on. But I no, got no, it. No, D, D, you say all of that. Like, you did all of this. You can't, like, you can't be out here doing stuff like this. I still got both my eyes, though. I still got both my eyes, though. You're fine. You're fine. Here's your severance break. Give him the letter. Give him the letter. <laughs> Speaking of which, Eris, I need you for the for for the camera to Dalton it up for us and show oh, us okay. how he showed up in front of the new bouncers because they're actually on because the house they I mean the house because the uh, the, the double, double deuce. deuce. The double deuce. I was going to call it the Roadhouse. Jesus Christ! This anyway, movie really screwed the pooch on the fucking. They really the did. Title the movie I told they, you they didn't. They they didn't put the title and they never said it. So he went to Double Deuce. He's seeing, you know, the usual stuff. He's seeing this Debauchery. over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. For $20, you can kiss them. You can kiss nipple to nipple. And I got a question, guys. You know, look, we were all men in our 20s. Why aren't you kissing them? I ain't got Why 20 bucks. You? <laughs> Did you ever have a pair of boobs in your hands ever? <laughs> Yes, people with the flying oh. in the <laughs> Oh God. Oh, oh, there was a lot of this in the movie. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, there, there was, was there was so there much was a, of it. There was a bunch of moments of see, that's the problem with these women. <laughs> oh, 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 oh buddy. Actually, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's the oh. thing. There was no problem with the women. Oh, <laughs> Everyone oh, was no. having fun oh, having oh, their oh, way oh, with them. Oh, oh no, oh no. The problem was. How dare you look at that man? You're gonna take a fist to the face. Ugh. Very true. The five very knuckle true. shuffle. Bam. So, so the very next day, very next day, Dalton shows up with all the bouncers. Where to see? Like, oh, that's Dalton. Because all because apparently Dalton is a is a known entity in the in the bouncing world. Because allegedly. Allegedly, James Dalton ripped a man's throat out once. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Bullshit. Bullshit. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Says one Terry Funk. The Funker, sir. It's the, funk. the Funk, sir. The Funker, the funker sir. sir. The Funker. Funk. One of, a wrestling god. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously. Terry Funk passed away last year and became a wrestling god, okay? But that also being said, bullshit. I wish that man would tear a man's throat out in front of me. I would love to see it. If I close my eyes, I hear the funker in my head when you just say that, D. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Every time I hear Rick, every time I see, every time I debate fun of Terry Funk, you have to say why like why like um 
Steve Harvey with the full, oh, you have to do that. <laughs> so when it's not wise, ha. Oh, <laughs> I understand that you had balls big enough to bring in on a truck. Doesn't look like much to me. Opinions vary. No, 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 no. Ball, <laughs> son. No, no, no. I love the response. The response from Patrick was just perfect. Opinions vary. I just Swayze just there's a lot of homosexual energy in this whole movie. <laughs> look, look, man, look, 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 look. This is a dude, the, the men that are the bouncers that work on the Dalton. I'm like, yo, easy big man, get your dick off of Patrick Swayze's, get your mouth around his dick. All right, Jesus Christ, <laughs> pull it back, <laughs> pull it back, <laughs> six feet. All right. <laughs> right, I need you to give me three feet in the ounce of space. All right. I'm gonna need you to yoke that shit in. I'm gonna need you to yoke that shit in. I need come on, go on now. Let the man walk. Now, now, now you see... <laughs> son, it was the very next day. The very next day after Dalton surveyed the entire bar. He I'm watched lame. Terry Funk. He watched Terry Funk work and the whole t- every time he shook his head, I was like, Oh, he's fired. Terry he is Funk. so he Terry, is so fired. I'll tell you what, Terry Funk's character looked like if you even blink wrong, get him out of here. I'm like, yo. Bro, everybody's a guy's ass I can kick. And I'm not buying drugs off of him. Kick him out. <laughs> Speaking of which, speaking of which, bro, there was a whole drug deal going on. Like between the waitress and the other chick, she literally pulled like a full 50 out of her titties. And she's like, for the love of God, like, don't, like, not here. Follow me to the bathroom. That being Morgan, said, though, I feel more understand me and tell me and call me a nigga and tell me to get the fuck I, out. Hey, like, look, look, just, 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 just the way that, you know, just the way that she said all that, I'm like, you wrote this, didn't you? You, you, you put that. You put that in there, didn't you? Did, hey, look, didn't you, Joel? Hey, 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 I hate to be that person. I need you to check out the bridge of that nose, and you tell me not an ounce of coke would have. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to. I also want to admit the entire time that uh, that that James was uh, surveying the uh, the double deuce. The amount of cleavage and titty that was everywhere. Sir, just boy, those were bimbo. Sc- those yes, they too. were. They were. I don't I, care. I don't I, care. This I, is this is Jasper. Very much Bimber to this, <laughs> this is Jasper, Missouri. Okay, Jasper, Missouri, 1989. Cleavage titties just yeah. Woo, they're going to, everywhere. Look, look, look. You said Jasper. You said Jasper, Missouri. Yeah, that's going to be B, C cup, and saggy. There's nothing mm-hmm. else. There's yes. nothing else. Yes, absolutely. You're only fortunate to have perky tits. And not look, so look, hold on. And not the look, and not the saggy where it's like, I see what you're working with, girl. The saggy right. where it's like, <laughs> I need, I need, I need them. Sh- uh, wait, Come I got on, you. you. Know wait, 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 D, you know, D, I got no, no, where it's no, like no, no, D, no, D, I got like, you. Ew. I got no, D, I got you. <laughs> Upon first viewing. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like you know they, you know they drop you know come on y'all you know they drop and it, it's like mid tummy a little bit lower than the tummy you're like all right cool Did there's some that drop and it hits their knees like ah. hey i gotta be honest with you i need them shits to look like phoebe cates and fast times all right that's that's i need that all right that, that's the needs to be it. coming Just, out the pool red oh, bikini oh, oh yeah you, you you need that beep, 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 beep. but how how do you uh you know how, how do you your boy Joel this? every time though get two more two more <laughs> let's have another scene where they're just getting sprayed all right come on man let's do this I gotta I gotta ask you do this shit how, right <laughs> now, I gotta ask you gentlemen how exactly do you uh, how, like how do you establish yourself as the new boss the new cooler of the you, double deuce you, 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 well dj Sue, i think you should show us why uh, you should yeah, please show <clears throat> sure thing yeah, please show us. Please show us. the very first thing that you do when you walk in ladies and gentlemen this is a powerful performance from dj sue i want you to notice the hair notice the belt notice the tucked in belt you're done he's done And you, you've been dealing. You're out of here, too. Thank you. Uh. Hold on. Say you're out again, Eris. You're out of here. 
why am I out? I've seen the way that you move. That was Terry Funk, everybody. I've seen the <clears throat> I've seen the way that you move. You uh don't have the stamina to do this job. I don't know what you're talking about. I went 60 minutes with Ric Flair and those dirty dog whore horsemen tried to fight me. I fought them all out, boy, and I'll fight forever. Well, that took like, nuts like, to well, tell. A, in, no, for real, y'all. That took nuts what? to tell a, in his prime Terrence Funk that he ain't good enough. That took guts. Well, <clears throat> there's always Barber College. <laughs> he dropped out of school. He was like in the tenth grade. Don't do that. Hey, look, look. Like look, now, for, that was that was back. Like now, for time. everybody, like for everybody else is in here. The curl, everybody. It's gonna be some rules. It's three simple rules. You gotta understand this. Number one, never underestimate your opponent. Expect right. the unexpected. And finally, be nice. Somebody calls you a cocksucker, be nice. Well, what if, what, now what if he says something about my mama? Be nice. Like what? <laughs> like my mama rides dicks. God. Is you she? Know you know what? 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 There is something to be said. Yes, the whole be nice. The whole be nice thing. From okay. Okay. <laughs> from okay. this movie, okay, was okay something that you wouldn't necessarily think would have been like uh <sighs> you would think this just would have been okay. It, it, this is just for the movie, all right. Be but nice, but rule of thumb. Thing. Be nice, right? Here's my thing. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. But <laughs> gentlemen, would you believe that in the death of Eric Garner, New York City cops? had to go through a retraining session and they used that exact scene of be nice. My thing is this. My thing is this. The New York police, the NYPD, who told Eric Gardner, teach a man how to squabble. The same motherfuckers said, we got to tell everybody be nice because we can't repeat what happened to Eric Gardner in this company. No, we can't. No, we can't. Now, we said the same thing when we shot up Dalo, and um, the other time we shot up the other kids, and that one time we choked that one kid out in the subway, the other time where we pushed that one kid in the traffic, and at one time we beat up that Puerto Rican, and the other time we, <laughs> we did a lot of stuff here at the NYPD. Okay? 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 Be nice. Be nice. I Be nice think, under pressure. But you know what? Also, what I've noticed, especially during COVID, when it comes to the NYPD, they took that be nice meaning. Be nice to us. That's what I noticed. I could be wrong. I'm a Washingtonian. I don't know what y'all do up there outside of choking out black men. I don't know. I don't know know if it was New York or Chicago, but you know that one cop that did 75 miles an hour and just hit a chick and then kept going? (laughs) I think that was Chicago. I all I'm saying is, Kyle. all I'm saying is, when I saw that cop in the video laugh, I was just sitting in my room like. There is, something, it, there is, there is something quite sick about like hearing a white guy just be racist. Like, I think I hit somebody. I think she might have been brown. Nah, I thought it was a skit. All right, that's how fucked up it is. I thought it was a skit. Like, nah, this is a mad TV skit. This is, no, this is real. This is oh, real. Very real. This is real. It's like, so when you told me that this Roadhouse shit was real, I was like, why Roadhouse? Because, because Chris, you got to understand, when it comes to movies, people can understand and understand and actually um, connect to movies. Because, you know... Um, be nice, Chris. Come on, man. <laughs> You're under pressure. Be nice. All right. We get a lot of, you know, we get a lot of, you know, you know, there's, you know, you're you're walking, doing your beat, and you hear some Dominicans talking, and you're like, they're fucking talking about me. Hey, be nice. Well, D, guys, be nice is translation. Pull out gun and shoot brown folks. Yeah, it is. I mean, 
if you want to take that definition, but <laughs> we're the, we the NYPD. Come on, look at what we do. Look at look at Law and Order SVU. We are the, we are the good guys. Come on. <laughs> sure about that? Riker says otherwise. All right. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You and your fucking rappers and your nigger rap. Hey, stop! Calm down. No, no, no. They're gonna listen to me. <laughs> You're probably saying D is a brown cop saying that. Ironically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hey, we can all we can always make you know shirts that have Hitler quotes on it to you know soothe the mood. Yeah. Or, or we can blame the death of a black man on an Asian person, and we can let our hands go of it. Oh, you thought I forgot about that NYPD? <laughs> <laughs> you really thought I forgot about that NYPD? Y'all blamed all that out in the one Asian cop. That was really, really classy. Let's get the Chinese and the blacks to fight each other. That's what y'all trying to do. <laughs> hey, I gotta be real. Hey, 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 the pull from that meme. They almost had us in the first half. They almost had us in the <laughs> first look, look, half. Like this. Oh, we ain't fighting? Oh, dang, I thought this was our time. You know, we don't move until white people tell us to move. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Anyway. <laughs> they expected that, but instead when they saw black and uh, Asians doing this. Oh, uh, yeah. It was just... Oh, it was a wrap. God damn. Looks like the Japanese, the Chinese, whatever. Look like y'all came together. <laughs> the Ching Chongs all look alike, all right? All these goo-wops and, all these goo-wops and, 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 and lines for eyes start. <laughs> God, you're making me racist, and I don't want to be racist. <laughs> no. Why is it look, 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 no, no, you got no, no. chop in the throat by a random girl. I heard three black geeks. I know what you're about. No, no, you got to keep it. No, let's, blue hair Susan will be on our stairs. No, no, no. Let's just let's just keep this on the level, okay? What they saw was the coalition of soy sauce and Jerry curl juice. Okay, let, let's let's just go with that. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. With Timberland boots, with Timberland boots, and, and slide sandals. God damn! With chopped cheese, Egg Fu Young goes like that. <laughs> oh my god! So, so. Hair, <clears throat> when hair oral and activator collabed. How the fuck would you show me something if I couldn't have it? We're done. We're done. We're done. Moving but anyways, on. but not nah, like he fires them, hands on their last check. Oh, with the added convict of so yeah, my man been skimming about $150 a night for more from the year. And so what? <laughs> I like how he did that. <clears throat> Dude, full drift. So what? Yeah, I've been skimming. What you gonna do about it? Uncle Rico over here been fucking skimming money. <laughs> you call him Uncle Rico, yeah. I, I ain't. I would not be surprised if that was. I, I fucking like mustache. The dirt bag I like mustache. How this dude, I like how this dude went right to his rich ass uncle. It's like they kicked me. They kicked me out. <laughs> what you do, son? Um, oh, yeah, I, just, I was just stealing one hundred and fifty dollars a night. He acted like I did something serious. Now, actually, that was one hundred and fifty a month. I thought you said a night. A month. A month. I you said, said a night. Yeah, you said one hundred fifty. You know, you said one hundred fifty. I thought you said night. Yeah. Well, if he, yeah, he said, yeah, he well, you know, if he did, and either way, in nineteen eighty nine, money one hundred and fifty a night. That is yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, you, that's Shit. what I was saying. No, get the fuck out of Shit, here, that's, bro. That's Dalton's rent, right? <laughs> With fifty dollars each. This dude lives above a ranch in a almost a studio apartment. No heat, no air. I get it. No, no heat, no air, no TV in there. But a hundred a month. Do you know in New York City that will cost you three thousand dollars? <laughs> Dude, dude, for like, something you know, a, for something a teeth that size. Here in DC, the that's seventeen hundred right there, dog. What you talking the size, about? The size of this <laughs> office nook that I'm in right now. That's that's what you're getting in New York. All right, you make it work. But do five grand a month. But do something with that shit. This is why I get. I literally. Hey, 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 pull your pull yourself up by your, your bootstraps. This is why I laugh at those fucking videos of like, how much you pay to rent a month? Uh, about six fifty. Let's see your place. And the place is about the size of a fucking half bathroom. And, and yo, like, and they over here doing all these weird tricks, like bringing or, out a hand. Like or like, or you know, who would have thought that a year later in the uh, the family comedy Home Alone, 
uh, Kevin would go and buy like a week's worth of groceries and only pay what what was that price again? 1983. Hey, look, you know, Reaganomics is great, you know, and... for the people that, no, for, for Kevin in Chicago, family. for Kevin's family, for Kevin's family, you know, Rick's family in hey, Chicago, hey, hey, man. Hey. That, uh, that side of Chicago. Go over to the look, go, go over to the $19.83 Chicago, real quick. <laughs> Tell also, me how also, they are. Also, also, here's how great the 80s were. My man had a Stouffer's mac and cheese, and that was a lot of mac and cheese and Stouffer's. We were, we were, we were, we were, a, we were a great country back then with we them fucking frozen. We were, we, a, we are a country. Cool. We were a we proper were, society. We were a proper society. We don't get that in Stouffer's now. Stouffer's, them shits is about the size of this phone. Like that's I was just about to pull out my get. phone. <laughs> I hate the fact that we got the... All right, look. I knew it was You get half of it in the cup this big. Hey, real talk. <laughs> Me and the, uh, we used to we used to get the uh, little stuff that was buying you for the kids, right? The little yeah. whole the big jump, right? Oh yeah. I went to the store one time, like thirty what <laughs> for that for that little shit, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we making this shit it, at home. Isn't that, and, and isn't that crazy though? That when you go to the grocery store now, you're paying Costco prices for shit that's a quarter of the size, and then, and then you end up paying 1980s prices just getting the ingredients, and you're like, shit, I got more out of the fucking ingredients. Oh yeah, the fucking frozen shit. Yo, the new Roadhouse better have Jake Gyllenhaal helping out a girl who's stealing baby formula outside of the, <laughs> in, the in the store. That's the only way you can make that real. It's like, we're going to kick her out. How much is the baby formula? $4,000. God damn, here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. As a dude that, look, as a dude that is not having kids no more. Whoo. R.I.P. R.I.P. My pocket. All me. I'm saying is. RIP my pockets because then all of a sudden, boy, don't you years later, kid years, right now, years later, 3BG, on real milk and not formula. Say, so, hey, 3BG, uh, didn't y'all have uh, videos on YouTube? Oh man, Chris oh, lost, man, his, about that, DJ man. lost his internet because he got to pay for baby formula. Crazy oh, man, times, man. crazy look, 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 times. Look, look, here, look, here, look, Chris, Eris, here's me. I told him, tell, I told him, tell his girl to whip her titty out, feed that child, nigga. No, I got, I got money. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you how to save money. She better get the pump. <laughs> they still make that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they still make pumps? Crazy. <laughs> oh, Ooh. but nah, man. But like, yo, he cleans it oh, up. Oh, yeah, they know? do. That jump does like, let's put it on that jump. <laughs> Come on, nigga. But nah. It's the future. The it's all digital now. <laughs> he cleans it up, like you said. Be nice. You know, he has the bouncers dressed as professional. They're wearing, you know, red, red, red polos, polos though. Red polos red look polos pretty good. Ain't gonna lie. The shit double deuce sweet. logo on that shit. That's nice, bro. <laughs> also, I gotta admit, I need somebody at Etsy and Red Bubble get on that. Also, I gotta admit, we got the addition of a uh, Keith David with glasses. It's great. Who, by the way, only said one line. Hey, he got his. By the way, his. and by the way, he's one of three Negroes in this movie. Yes, he is. First off, he's he sensed all them white men eyeing each other. He knew to get the fuck out this movie. No, nah, he came in when everything was good. Oh, like when crack every... got... oh, these <laughs> crackers got. got... <laughs> he came. No, he came in when the double deuce was was building up, getting its its good. You know the proper reputation. Oh, I know that. I'm just first saying. of all. First of all, when the band no longer had to play behind a freaking fence. Bro, that's when you knew. Tell you something. That's when you knew times was great. Let me tell you something. Apparently, that's a real thing. Oh uh, yeah, that is yes, a real is. thing. Like, I, yeah, I remember seeing it in Blues Brothers, and yeah, I remember put that chicken wire. You better put yeah. that chicken wire, bro. And I asked my dad, "Is like, is that a real thing?" And my dad was like, "Oh yeah, that's that, that's a real thing. Like, you know, that's to protect the protective." I never seen it in real life though, but I knew they existed all through the eighties, man. Especially in dive bars, I knew that was a real. Oh yeah, thing. there was some. They used to well back back when PG. Certain parts was farmland, David. There were some dive bars in Upper Marlboro and Bowie. And I think my uncle told me about like them kind of bars where it's like, oh, this shit was like the shit you see in the movies, like bikers and before, all that shit. And, and Chris, before the fish market changed. No, I, no, I actually take it a step further. It was more so Anne Arundel County going toward Annapolis mm. over in that area that had some dive bars. So, yeah, like that, that's a real thing. I mean, look. I'm pretty sure Zadoichi beat Zadoichi King over here. They didn't want to have a bottle just hitting upside the head while he's playing. So you know. I'm sorry. Did you just call that nigga Zadoichi? <laughs> hey, you remember what? You, 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 you remember? Hey, you remember? Real cinema is. 
Hey, hey, look, my man sniffed out Dalton when he snuck into that cage. Like, man, look a bit taller. I thought you were a little bit taller. Oh, man, you some bitch. I got to tell you something, Dalton. I love you, man. <laughs> I, you know what? We got the Canadian version of that, which is look, just, look. which was just him, you know, just eyes closed the whole time and just looking upwards and saying, you know, I heard, I heard you was in town, you know. It's really good to see you again. Blind Drebin. <laughs> blind Drebin. So Dalton. He really did have like the blind Drebin thing going on. I got a story to tell you. I got a story to tell you, Dalton. It's bad. <laughs> Why am I doing it? Why am I doing it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I will say this though. He he felt very natural for the movie. Like it, it, I don't think they really it didn't feel like they asked a lot of him. It was just his natural self throughout the movie. I actually did like that. All he had to do was just play. Yeah, just play, get a couple of lines where apparently he gets all the ladies. You know, good good for him. Good for him, for sure. Um, but yeah, the, the bar is getting cleaned up and uh, our drug lord is not digging the double deuce success. Yeah, isn't that something? It's like all of a sudden he's successful. Hey, 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 you fired my nephew over here. I'm which, by, <laughs> which, by the way, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you guys this. So check this out. Imagine, if you will, if um, Ward had that same option in Casino. Mm. You know, instead of bringing in, uh, sorry, instead of bringing in Tiger March, Sam Elliott, talking about, well, he is my brother-in-law, and you know, I would see, I would see, uh, you know, see it as a positive thing if you were to give him his job back. Um, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No. No, it's like I, I can't do that. I look, I understand and respect that he is your that he's your nephew and all, but uh, no, he's either too you know, he's either he was too dumb like to see that the shit was happening on the second win, and he's also too incompetent. He, no, no, he's a liability. Except I can't, this, except I can't this, bring him back in. Except Tom Dalton was just like, yeah, your son is a fucking thief. Get the fuck out. <laughs> like, My man really had the nerve to sit there and point and point a finger at Dalton and say, you see. I'm going to get my job back and uh, you're out of here. Yeah. A guy with that much flowing hair and you, you look like, really, you, and meanwhile, you look like you haven't taken a bath in like three days. I, I, I'm just saying. Hey, CJ, you really going to tell somebody who's business in the front party in the back. <laughs> oh, oh the, the not mullet, the half mullet. Yes. Why don't that, we, like I mullet, said, the mullet that, is mounting to come back apparently. Like I, mean. I said, Patrick Swayze had the most. I, I know I said it earlier, uh, like in the beginning of the podcast, but he had the most immaculate hair in this movie. Dude, he has a yes, he did. He has a mac. He had immaculate hair in the eighties and early nineties and stuff because uh, he did Next of Kin later on with uh, one Liam Neeson. He did. He had flaming. He had flowing hair underneath. No, no, Liam Neeson was the Amish. No, he was like a Chicago cop, and then he was former Amish, and he had the flowing hair underneath that shit kicker hat. <laughs> What I believe watch that watch that movie by the way, folks. Next of Ken, great movie. No, which, like, like which which again go like going back and forth on the whole uh you know sele- uh actor switching roles. God imagine imagine Patrick Swayze and Wyatt Earp or Tombstone instead of uh mm. <laughs> instead of Kurt Russell. <laughs> See like, would have sucked. I'm sorry. I it love Patrick, suck. but nah man, Kurt Russell the just movie would have sucked. I needed that to be Kurt Russell. No, <laughs> No, wait, wait. Okay, all right. Also, no, no, give really him, no, 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 give him Doc Holiday. Nah, man, that, that, that's that's nah, that's not Kilmer, nah, that's not nah. Kilmer man. Val I know it's Kilmer. His three good mo- roles, and that one on. First off, well, hold up, is they take it out? Wait, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is the other one the saint? Yes. Oh, D is actually thinking on that really hard. Oh, like, what do you say? The saint. The saint. What about the saint? I said it's one of the good three good movies, The Saint. Um, I'll be honest with you. I just said that to be funny. Don't put oh, okay. me on the spot. <laughs> I thought you about to say Top, Top Gun. Gun. Okay, Tombstone. don't talk to me. That, Heat. Um, 
Batman slap. <laughs> Pure genius. No directors. Genius? No, no, no. Director's cut of Batman Forever. I feel like the director's cut was just more green. Don't do that. No, it wasn't. All the deleted the scenes. Of green. Bro, all them deleted scenes and stuff that was cut out of the movie. Oh sir, man, sir. please smell you. Hashtag Burton cut. The um, Burton? No, no, that was the, uh, the Schumacher. Schumacher. The Schumacher. No, no, cut. I believe that everything is in there is what exactly what Schumacher wanted in there. The Schumacher cut. There were so many things they cut out of that movie, though. Mm-mm-mm. Speaking of cut, uh, you know, my man uh, Dalton gets cut a lot in this movie. Yes, he does. He gets yes, cut he so much that he carries around his uh, his medical history. There have been so many knives that was broke. Bust out of this movie, like flick, like I mean, straight up Bowie knives, army knives, like yo, bro, the Rambo knife being pulled out of nowhere. Hey, look, look. But, but to be honest with you, at the same time, I'd rather this than a gun. <laughs> guns got pulled too. We saw we saw quite a few blickies. They got brandished too. The, the, yes, guns we, were brandished too. We, yeah. we we saw we saw quite a few uh, ankle uh, ankle blickies. So, look, let me tell you something. Um. I'm too much of a pussy. To try to, I, 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 I am too much of a pussy to try to sew my own shit back. I don't care how fucked up it is. I'm you like, you better, great part you better, this, Chris? you better, you better dope me up on the finest of drugs before I do hey, this Chris, shit. Like, you know what's the best part? You know what the best part about that was for me? I was like, hey, Patrick. Is that the same spot where you put the gun, where you put the gun pot in there, lit that joke on fire, and Black Dog? Is that the same arm? <laughs> See, hold on, don't be Black up to Dog. Do that, we've, been t- we've been threatening to do that for the last fifteen sir, years, sir. Sir, we got to do a one Randy Travis movie. We got to. CJ, here's, here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with you being doped up on like the finest drugs. You would lack the hand eye coordination of, <laughs> of trying to thread the freaking needle. Like, you, like, listen, your cut is up here. You're going to start up here and end up down here. I'm no, just no, saying. No. <laughs> Knowing how my goofy ass, because look, I know how to sew a little bit. No, my goofy ass. The fucking cut will be there will be gaps in it where the, the shit isn't even shut in, but it's shut in enough to where it's like it's gonna heal weird, but fuck it, it's closed up. I don't give a shit. I'm like, I'm like CJ, it's it, you're gonna break it open again. It don't matter. <laughs> like, I'm like, that is not a clean dressing, sir. <laughs> Gotta understand, sir. If it scabs, I win. All right, that's all that matters. <laughs> scabs. I win. You're all gonna right. scratch it I, off I'll be honest, out of habit. <laughs> I gotta be real with you. I'm the same way. I'm not sewing my shit up. It's like D, you're bleeding. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> but I, I have always been that. Hey Chris, hey Chris, you walked through the North Carolina woods before too. You got scraped by by a couple of them, uh, branches. You know what I did? Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm just saying, like, if it's a deep cut, and I gotta sew. I'm too much of a pussy to try to sew it. It's like, Mama, Mama. I need to go to the dentist. <laughs> Ah oh, shit, the, Chris! What you do? Lick the finger, like, lick the finger. One wipe over, basically. One wipe the, over. That's to get the the first gush of blood. My no, dumb ass, forgetting that there's still gonna be more. No, no, no. Out. Like, like basically, the carnalize the wound. No, no, D. Basically, I, I get it. That was the uh, God, the saliva macura comb. I got you. Come on, man. This is a, this is a Metal Gear. That was a Metal Gear 3. Y'all don't remember that? Hey, 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 hey. Bonus points. You jump in the hot car and those hot-ass leather seats and you use the seat belt. The shit there cauterized the like... <laughs> Let me tell you something. Nothing is worse as a kid when you're wearing shorts and you jump into the back seat of a car that has leather seats and you burn your fucking skin. Like, Sah! My grandma's Chrysler. Lit my little legs up. <laughs> Your ass hot as shit. Boy, well, I never forget. I was like seven and I hopped in the back seat. And all you feel is that first initial push of leather when you put your hands on it. And I think it was like, oh, it's hot a little bit. I set my ass on that joke. And that's how we prepare for taking hot baths with uh, women. So there you go. Um, Training gentlemen, right there. It's, it's like speaking of uh, medical shit, when... <laughs> when Dalton went to the hospital, uh, we, that's when we're for that's when we meet uh, Doc, D- like Dr. Elizabeth Clay, played by Kelly Lynch. Now, why I call it Kelly the Brock? Sorry, folks, Kelly Lynch, you're right. Now, imagine if you will, 
it's 19, I'm going to say late 88 when they were probably filming this movie. One Annette Benning was originally cast as Dr. Clay. Here's the crazy part about Annette Benning. Respect um, to Annette Benning. Good. She that Annette Benning to me is in that category as Di, not Di, what's the other Diane that has the glasses, the white lady? Lane? No, not no. Lane Lace? is no, it's ah, uh, she was with the she was in that movie with Bette Miller and Goldie Hawn, the first last club. That's what I said. Weast? No, uh, 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 father of the bride. Is it uh, that's what I'm saying. You sure ain't Diane Weast? No, Diane Keaton. Ah, Diane Keaton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and Diane Keaton are in that category of white women where it's like. They're not super hot, but there's a certain demographic of men that like them and think they're cute in a way a little bit. Yeah. It was still yeah. crazy. It was still, it was still crazy that they put her, they put Annette Benning in this movie. I can't see Annette and, Benning, though. That's weird. Oh, of course not, because, bro, they had to recast. They recasted her and gave it to Kelly Lynch because, very clearly, uh, her and Swayze didn't have very little chemistry. Kelly Lynch was one, another white woman that Hollywood had in their rotation of white women and such. Um, yeah. I like how this girl said, do you want a local? Nah, I'm okay. He's like, nah, I'm good. That's some manly, mm. unnecessarily manly shit. I want to get my stitches without no anesthesia. I'm a pussy. You better put all of that, all <laughs> of that shit on <laughs> That's what I said. The finest of Come drugs. Come on, bro. I need uh also also sir uh so you remember um uh, Jimmy Kane mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh originally that was gonna go to Scott Glenn I can see that Scott Glenn has that look to him that I thank can see God that. can you thank God it Scott went to Marshall Glenn. Teague I'm glad know, it went to I Marshall like, but Scott Glenn is great though I like him he's Eric great Rick. but I'm glad 89, I'm 89 89 Scott Glenn doing a roundhouse kick Really, nigga? No, eighty. No, 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 no. Never mind the roundhouse kick, D. It's eighty nine. Scott Glenn spinning a fucking cue stick, doing all this shit. Yeah, he'd be similar to our boy from uh fucking uh Tremors, Captain Remo. He would be, but no, I'm, I'm glad it went no. to Marshall T. No, I, I'm glad I, I'm, got, I'm glad it went to Marshall T. They got Marshall. I'm going to be D tier for the rest of my career. T. Let me tell you something. You know what he's doing now? Now you want to know what this, you want to know what he's doing right now? This motherfucker is doing Christian movies right now. And I'm, I'm when I'm say Christian movies, like early what I said, music made for Trump supporters. He makes Christian movies that Trump supporters look at. Basically, he, he does now. Like, basically he makes January six Christian movies. Yes, he does. He makes what happened to freedom. You sure he wasn't at the January? Yeah, he used to I'm pretty sure he was probably there. Him. I'm pretty sure he probably rolled up oh. to the cap. No, he showed up to the Capitol with a cue stick and all. <laughs> and cue uh, with the American with flag, the shitty on the wafer bitch. glasses, <laughs> hoping that one of these fat, out of shape white men go, Jimmy Reno. <laughs> no one did. No one. <laughs> one uh, Roadhouse Marshall Teague was spotted at the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> nah, 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 nah. My, my, my dude is like the guy that's still trying to be popular with the kids. He has a Captain America shield. <laughs> it's going to be like a Captain America shield, something like that. No, because my, my Captain America, my Captain America is Steve Rogers. Nah, he would have. Um, oh, God. He would actually no, no. He would still walk in there with the cue stick, but he's wearing a denim jacket with a no smoking sign on the back, uh, uh, sir. But he's wearing no. Those he's wearing a but denim he's... jacket with United with a United States <laughs> Punisher logo on his back. Oh, oh, still wearing the lead dungarees from this movie. Still, still. <laughs> he's got a patch on the arm with the all with the Blue Lives Matter. <laughs> he's got a Blue Lives Matter patch on the arm. <laughs> Don't tread on me, snake. Don't tread on me. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. This is, this is terrible. <laughs> so 
he said he said he does Christian movies. I was like, oh god, I know where this is. Yes. Like. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you didn't do a movie with Gina Carano. Oh, make it worse. You know what? No, no, that that that, that would be Earth. No, that that would be Earth. Uh, Four fifty one. Um, him having a sex scene with uh, Gina Carano in a in a Christian movie. Consensual. Ew. For the sake of uh for the sake of child making. <laughs> and I was and I was mildly kind of interested in seeing Gina Carano's titties in De- after Deadpool. I was like, oh, I kind of yeah, want to yeah, see it. Yeah, you, you kind of wanted to see it and and then I was like interested. it was intriguing. And then she opened her mouth at Disney and then that was it. It's like, lady, no. I just stop. Stop. Why are you being anti vax? No. <laughs> God. It's like dick went hard and it just went soft. <laughs> it's like, ah. I'm like, Gina, why are you being Abby from Law <laughs> for The Last of Us right now? <laughs> can you can you not? <laughs> you were right here on the level of attraction. J- 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 just here. Oh well, uh, but no, sir. Uh, but, but no, how, but like, oh, how how is it that uh, that that you are so villainous that you got a spot on the river? Mm-hmm. You own a monster truck, or again, it's the eighties—a monster truck or a tank, whichever one you want to choose. Pick your, pick, pick your poison. You you want to know how villain you are when you can drive a a, a freaking top down Mustang, doing the swerving shit on. You know, between single lane roads and not giving an absolute fuck. I mean, zero fuck. Eris, Eris, I think you're missing something of the whole motif of the the. I think you're missing something in the whole motif of I, I got money it. and you don't. I, I this nigga it. has a fucking helicopter. Yes, I was just gonna get to that, but the coup de gras is you break out a helicopter <laughs> to fly from your house. To go to the other side of your house. My man is wearing the Ricardo Maltabon Fantasy Island fucking fedora. He is. I it mean, suits him. Again, this country Villain. means something. When our rich assholes used to wear fedoras like that. Can you imagine Elon Musk wearing something like that? No, you can't because he can barely fit shirts. So <laughs> this At- this Caucasian Italian is just best villain ever bro you want to talk about i have fuck you money in 1989 is your swerving while singing life is but a dream ben gazara man that man is just that we like like he said we used to be a proper country just just great I, multi, a, multi-faceted villains can i can i be that guy right quick and and say this this is the guy that you got when homeboy, who was the uh, the main villain from Beverly Hills Cop One and Rambo Two, said no. This is the man that you get when Charles Grodin is like, "Are you sure I should be a villain in this?" That's what you you get him. You get him. <laughs> Are you sure? Charles Grodin's like, "I'm more comedy villain <laughs> than I'm actually punching a guy villain." <laughs> Much like how we got, uh, you know, Sunshine Parker. To play Emmett, you know, aka aka uh, taller, uh, <laughs> like Wilford Brimley, <laughs> walking, walking tall, Wilford Brimley. Brimley. <laughs> Talk about. Do we have the black equivalent of a Wilford Brimley in the black in, in the black acting community? Uh, we did have it in the beginning of the movie. Your boy Fats Williams. Oh yes. Yeah. So, but what do I look like? <laughs> like what do I look like a valet? Here's, Man, a fun little part. Here's a little fun little part about my career. Do you know this is my second uh Joel Silver movie? The last time y'all see me, Action Jackson. <laughs> Not Jackson, Action Jackson. <laughs> hey, you want to know what my role was for this movie? I was the derelict. It actually said it in the title. Derelict. I know. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Disrespectful. It was highly disrespectful. Disrespectful to a black legend. I'm no bullshit. He hasn't been in a lot of movies, but him as a man, as a person, and people—he's a legend. It's disrespectful. 
I mean, it's no different than fuck it's Wilford like Br- if you it's get a- Glenn Plummer to be a crackhead, sure he's a crackhead, but you don't have to put crackhead as his name in there. So like that. I mean, look, it's no different than us in the community, nerd and white community sitting up there making fun of Wilford Brimley and diabetes and shit. Like, do we have one though? That's a good question. Yeah. That is a good question. Do we have a black person in our community right now that's like that? I'm gonna say no. No, I can't really think I of mean, I mean, Ozzy Davis. I, uh, maybe? Listen, no, until I see Ozzy Davis be a black hobo with a shotgun, no. I'm gonna say Scat Man, but I can't even say Scat Man. Scat, scat Man, man probably nah, nah. Been, but Scat Man wasn't though. He nah, was just he in wasn't. everything. Well, you know what well, I mean? Well, 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 Dude, well, well, I, I refuse to give that. I refuse to give Hong Kong Fooey that uh that 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 respect. The same time, you know one thing I. Uh oh. Dude, you muted. Yeah, yeah, you're muted big time. I know. He played the uh, he played the Uncle Tom joke every now and then. But Mm -hmm. when you look at his uh, career, it's like these are a lot of pro black movies. Yeah, and I shut the fuck up. (laughs) Nah, this is Wilford Brimley gives ally. (laughs) No, no. If Um, Wilford Brimley still had a heart heartbeat, you know what he would say? When did this country change? I like how all these crackers. Technically, crack technically I like the all these crackers say the same thing. What the country <laughs> used to be. I technically, technically, the, I would say the black equivalent. But he, you know, the only difference is that he's actually healthy and still with us. Lou Gossett Jr. Hmm. Yes, and I, you know what? You're probably right, Eris. You're probably right. <laughs> but I will say, I think um, I will give that to you. <laughs> You're probably right. He's technically our black equivalent. It's just. When y'all niggas gonna understand? <laughs> Same time though. Pull your pants up. Be somebody. Be a man. Now, like, now, like now. If you excuse me, I gotta go. I gotta go do hobo shit. Awesome. Like this. Awesome. Hey, Lou, Lou, Mr. Gossett, Mr. Gossett, Mr. Gossett, sit down. You're not supposed to be acting. We told you're not you gonna you tell me to sit down. You're not going to tell me to sit down now. Like, I'm Gossett. sweaty and bald. You're not going to tell me to sit down. Wolf of Gossett, there's a vein. You, there's a vein. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Oh, yeah, my show coming on. <laughs> Wolf of Brimley just gives off. It's a damn shame what they did to that Ashley Babbitt woman. It's crazy. <laughs> what, well, I have to transfer? Of, I no. knew this country is in trouble when the transfer of power... <laughs> Was stopped by that that what? demon Democrat. <laughs> I can't even no. think of a bad thing. No, to no, say no, 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 no. It's a, like what? It's a shame. Like it's a shame for what? What for having that agent do a kill confirm on her? Picked up the dog tag and everything. <laughs> I said what I said. I'm I'm sorry. Oh man, that agent. Hey, you see that white girl? Yes. Center mass. <laughs> Yo, my man rolled. My man was rolling in deep with the uh, the Resident Evil Four Punisher. God you know real. what's amazing with God somebody? Like, I just seen people get shot with Glocks before, but never at center mass, and never nobody flying back at that. Look, I want you to know how united that we as black people were on Twitter. <laughs> this was all of us when we saw that video. <laughs> You have been fucking around. That was <coughs> that you was the... trying. You over there trying your best to run in there and take a shit on 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 on, on Chuck Schumer's desk. <laughs> this is what happens. You run here trying to sniff AOC's chair. Fucking hey, they Billy, did that. They did that. <laughs> look, look, AOC threw away her chair. Hey, like hey, no, no, she no, burned it. it she all burned I'm, it. Look, all I'm saying is Bobby Wick. Fucking That's Wick, Pelosi. Bobby <laughs> Wick. Look, Bobby look. Wick. Bobby Wick D- was in mass. Nah. Deshaun, nah. Deshaun, nah. Wick. Deshaun Wick. <laughs> <laughs> that man is a patriot. Oh, sir, sir. Hey, sir, look. Look, look we almost got to look. Hey, look, you got to. Hey, Deshaun, listen to me. Now, I need you to get this whole this whole situation taken care of. You don't have to shoot nobody. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> 
I'm gonna keep it real. That dude is up there with the guy that shot Reagan. I'm like, bro. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> CJ, CJ, listen. See, listen, listen. No, no. I know. I know. No, no. I. My favorite response is somebody said that. Like, you like the guy that shot Reagan? What are you talking about? The nigga missed. What are you? <laughs> He's also up there. He's also up there with the man who missed, uh, who missed his loafer on on Bush. Look, that was a look. I feel us as older millennials. How do you throw we, both no, shoes and miss? I understand. I feel we have lived through so much shit that when I have kids, I'm like kids. There was a time where somebody threw a shoe at the president. Two <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I, I do two up. shoes and missed. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. He, the homie missed so bad. You are not allowed to throw anything Harris. for the like for the next ten years. Harris, here's the worst Point, part. Blank range. Here's the reason. Here's what's so bad about it. When Bush ducked the first time and ducked the second time, I went Bush. Bring another one. What you got? <laughs> right? I was Dodge, so dodging skills part. over here's here. Here's the sick part. Back in the day, you, you know, always had like, no, no, I like the the SNK like or something. Just defend. This this was a moment of generation gaps here, right? You think about the time something happened to the president. You know, older adults had the newspaper to see the picture, and you, if you caught the evening news, they show it, right? Us as millennials, we're memeing the fuck out of it because somebody did the Resident Evil button press the fucking. <laughs> this man oh, fucking QTE. <laughs> That's the different generation gap. We will meme your ass immediately. No listen, important vibes. Hey, hey, my hey, man, ran, nah, my nah, man ran back. down that hallway. My nigga ran down that hallway. Full saw sprint. Ashley. That nigga saw Ashley and said, "I just catch you having fun." <laughs> listen, listen, CJ. First of all, first of all. <laughs> When uh, when Teron Grimes pulled out that Colt Python and saw <laughs> he saw that white woman trying to climb over the rail, and I'm like, son, if you don't sit your ass down, always oh, say there's a flashpoint in history. Yes, we still haven't got the effects of black people getting our good shot off on that. We haven't gotten off full on that yet. Look, if you told me that was reparations, I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> Oh, look, all I'm going to say is this. That better not be the end of the ride, but if it is, that's a hell of a way. (laughs) (laughs) We said that about Gina Carano. Yeah, Yeah, we did. That that was, yeah, yeah. Like, click subscribe i mean like <laughs> comment subscribe hit that notification button everybody i like visit like, three black geeks.com <laughs> follow us on twitter follow us on instagram follow us on facebook tiktok's about to be gone so you know <laughs> it's it's a to get gone. <laughs> and look all i'm saying is mr wesley over here up the ante when you walk, remember how you just walked in there on some well 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 sounds like y'all got a lot i smell money in here look doll I knew it was like that when he walked into the Red General store and going like, well, Red. It's a nice what? day we're having here, huh? Nice day we're having here, Red. Here's it the fun was. Thing about, it was. Here's the fun thing about Red. Red has been in every, well, just about every Elvis Presley movie. So he has that under his belt. So that's kind of cool. And also he's been in a bunch of Westerns. And also the dude that, uh, what's the face, uh, that, uh, that Dalton was living with, he was in a bunch of, uh, uh, his name is Sunshine in real life. He's been in a bunch of Westerns too. And when you look at the story, Chris Harris, is this a Western? Is mm. the, this is the same plot as a Western. Yeah, it's it is. the exact same plot as a Western. Guy comes into town, cleans up, kills the rich guy, everything's better. Is this a modern day Western that you showing is. me here? It is. It's so a it's modern day cool. Western. So cool. Hold on. You want to know also what makes this such a modern day Western? The now, remember how we said? Well, you said that man, it's a shitload of hills for this to be, uh, can- like Kansas, like Kansas City, Missouri. Well, <laughs> yes. sir. Well, sir. That's because number one, they filmed this movie ninety nine point ninety nine percent in California. That beautiful, that beautiful, beautiful Anaheim. Uh no, this was New Hall, Valencia. Uh, oh, that's oh oh. I mean, uh, what was it? Yeah, Valencia, home of where Power Rangers was filmed at. Uh huh, Santa Clarita. Uh huh. And, and oh and oh, 
also where uh, the other parts that were filmed, you can clearly see that they filmed this. The uh, probably one of the most famous fight scene that was Canyon County. That's His one hundred dollar a month uh, barn apartment that was in Canyon County. There, there is that, farmland in California. Good California farmland, <laughs> sir. Um, now the double, the, the quote unquote new double deuce that uh, they use uh, Anaheim's Cowboy Boogie, which wow. later called the Bandstand. Which probably isn't there anymore. It's like no, that movie. shit was closed a long time ago. <laughs> By the way, the text. opening. Oh, and they said the opening and the monster truck scenes were filmed in uh, Reedley, California. Yeah, definitely California production. It tracks. Again, not a lick was in the Midwest. And before somebody said, why couldn't they shut in the Midwest? It's the 80s in the Midwest. Anyway. <laughs> By the, way, by the way, that Bigfoot was Bigfoot number seven, which was which was originally built just for the movie. Wow. And the scene of Bigfoot driving through that Ford uh dealership, five hundred thousand dollars to film. You know that what sucks, man? That really sucks. It was wagon days, guys. <laughs> wagon days <laughs> at Fort Motorsports. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Hey, yo, see, look, look, y'all got to understand, before the, the minivan showed up, the wagon. That's all I have let, to let say. Let me tell you something, folks. Um, D and Eris, you'll you'll know I'm rich when you pull up to my house and you just see a Bigfoot truck in front of me. Chris, there would never be a Bigfoot truck there, yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm manifesting. Nah, your wife ain't letting that shit nah, happen. Nah, nah, I'm manifesting. No, 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 Chris. I'm not, no, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm I'll rent one, no, right? I will not, no, I'm not going to let D rain on your parade, sir. I'm manifesting. You getting that. Watch. I'm a, Listen, the first thing I'm going to say to you when I see it in the driveway, Chris, what number? What number? Enough is this big for it. Enough to fund three BG for years. No, no, no. I mean, like, which numbered big oh, is oh, this? Oh, it'd be like, yeah, it's the uh, it's the one from Roadhouse. Really? Now hold on. I'm like this number is... seven. <laughs> no, hold on. This is this. how the hell did you get number seven, sir? Harris. Now this is me. This is f four fifty. This ain't the same one. <laughs> this ain't the same one. <laughs> This ain't an F6. This ain't an F650. You think I didn't like you think D wouldn't know that nigga? <laughs> the same time though. I used I, to work for Ford, nigga. I think I know what I'm looking at. The same time though, I would say this. If you, if, if you know I'm rich, I kind of the nostalgia part of me. I kind of no, I, I kind of want Marty's truck from Back to the Future too. Uh yeah. That 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 truck was like that. I kind of like it. I I can't I can't hate you for that man I can't hate you for that that truck was clean that truck, truck, it really was yeah, it really that was truck, <laughs> that truck was too damn clean for that movie that's a that's, that's a, a that's a that's a truck that I'll go to Virginia Beach and just drive in the sand just cause like yo I can do this shit. I'm doing hey, donuts hey, in the sand hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I feel like that's the type of truck you like I'm about to roll over everything two seconds in <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. This man Chris gonna be doing figure eights on the sand. <laughs> Yo, like how long? Like here's me. So how long before the suspension broke, nigga? I was in there for an hour and a half. All of a sudden, <laughs> hey, I was out in DC, fucking going nuts in that monster truck, and then wrong turn. Hey, look, look, he's like this. I was cool on the sand. Apparently, DC potholes is like bet. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, nigga, you bad. It just snowed. You bad. It just snowed. <laughs> oh, God. Hold oh, on. I'm with Tevin on this. Shout out to the LA Freeway, y'all. Yes. Oh, there man. you go. The LA Freeway yeah, side. Shout out to the, the LA back. Freeway side in the background. Also, also, I mean, also, uh, more California stuff. So, the, I mean, the, the famous fight scene, the shirtless uh, fight scene between uh, Jimmy and Dalton. Would you believe that Marshall T broke Patrick Swayze's ribs during that fight? I mean, there would look that like, like a nigga that would do that two times. All right, pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> the Ruski should have won in Red Dawn. Oose. You think you're better than me? Huh? You think y'all the puss? He looked like a guy that says puss, not pussy, not babes, none of that. Puss. There is something. Mm-mm. 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 That's son. That was a uh, that punch to the ribs that broke. I believe that was a, a warning of <laughs> future. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, future Marshall T. Over here saying <laughs> this is for fatherhood. <laughs> Punched him in the ribs for doing that movie, fatherhood. <laughs> 
That was a forgettable moment, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> but, Patrick but, Swayze is in fatherhood. Hey, but Showtime made sure that, that you knew that the movie was on because they played the hell out of it back in the 90s. Rated PG-13. <laughs> I, you know, I can't believe it. I, I, you know what? I got to be honest with you. Patrick Swayze was not a believable deadbeat dad. He wasn't. Right. He was like, too he's, pretty. He's too he's nice. Too pretty. He's yeah, too pretty. You can be pretty, but, you know. He keeps giving off God. Mm-mm. Come on, babe. Give Mm-mm. me another chance. Nah, 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 nah. See, he's too pretty. He's too pretty to play a dead, a white deadbeat dad. Now, if this was Christopher Williams, that'd be different. Yeah, yeah, you know, clearly, clearly. Look, even if it was our man Tiggy Boy, he'd be a he look like a deadbeat dad. Oh, Marshall T. Yeah, Marshall T. Looked like a deadbeat dad. Bro, he looked like he would roundhouse kick his his son in the throat because it builds character. Sir. Yes, it builds character. Like you do know you're gonna, like you do know you're gonna kill, you do know you're gonna kill your son one day. You keep doing that. Dad, you broke my hand. You know who else broke his hand? <laughs> Frank George Dude, Washington. Sorry. George Washington when he chopped down that cherry tree. You know who else broke their hand, son? General Patton when he was saving this country. You know who else broke their hand? Donald Trump, when he was masturbating furiously to get his penis hard, when he, <laughs> when he was trying to have sex with that Russian girl, he said, eh, forget it, peel the sheets. <laughs> get it. D ain't forgot about that. D ain't He's forgot from- about the pissy sheet thing, all right? <laughs> I mean, he was too pretty. He was a very beautiful. Was he too oh, pretty man. in ghosts? Uh, absolutely. Very, I mean, oh. sir, he carried he carried no, that imma- no. like sir he carried that immaculate hair of his from Roadhouse to go. I want to understand something. Demi Moore banged Rob Lowe and Patrick Swayze. She was living the white girl dream. All right, I'm just saying, like there there are things that you hit and in the trunk. Then track. she fucked Bill. Then she fucked Bruce Willis. <laughs> for a while, sir, 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 for sir. a while, sir, sir, that's John McClane. Makes sense. Yeah, but this was like John McClane, Die Hard with a Vengeance, John. Hey, McClane. hey, but here's the thing: white women love down on their luck. White guys like Bruce Willis, balding, you know, balding. You know, it's an appeal. I guess it's not like Chris, Bruce Willis. Chris, yeah. Christopher, I need you to get the fuck off. <laughs> Stop. Leave. Bruce Willis can't talk right now. We want to be dogging that. Oh, no, no, that's all love. That is all love with that. Like Bruce Willis got Demi Moore. Like that's despite well, you had Demi, listen, look, this, you had despite, Demi Moore. Despite, that would have meant something. No, no, no. Despite what Kevin Smith says, <laughs> man, you had Demi Moore before Ashley Kutcher started pumping the living crap out of her and said, "Peace." <laughs> hey, hey, hey! But you know what though? Can't deny them kids because Jesus, they look just like them crazy but this way he got kids i do believe he does hang on uh, a second. No, hang it's on. one of those things where it's just random i'm like does he have kids he was hold on well yeah he was definitely married um uh, did he have no kids did he wow that's hang on. back on to what you said earlier mm-hmm. oh yeah this is a guy that broke his kids ribs for being a pussy Bro. <laughs> like, I, oh yeah Yeesh. jimmy Reno did that shit <laughs> Yeah, he had no kids. Yeah, no kids. Damn, he had no kids. No kids. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, good for him. You know, he, he he's doing something a lot of people are trying to do now. No kids. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Chris, check this out. Biodynamics. <laughs> That's the problem about this country. We used to have children, healthy white children. <sighs> oh wait, wait a minute. So. He attempted that he was about to, but uh miscarriage. Yeah, yeah. That that's... happened. Yeah. You know what? Life is, is the basic of Biden. Here's the thing. As a dude with three kids, I can say Bidenomics, this, Chris. <laughs> get, with the, get with the damn Bidenomics. I'm so sick of you. Here's the thing. As a, I have three kids. If you're trying to have kids, I'm gonna say two things. Why? And go ahead. <laughs> that's the that, that's the that's the all I can do. I'm gonna say why, because like, do you got the money for it? And I don't even mean like, and I'm not like how everybody like, it takes a hundred thousand dollars to raise it. No, that's bullshit. Okay. You can technically raise a kid on four thousand bucks and make it to the end of the year. Okay. There's, 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 a, the there's, a, there's a there's a nigga down, where. There's a nigga down the street that's raising Trust kids me, on I have five seen kids. I have seen 
baby mamas don't give nothing to their children and they make it to the end of the year. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm just saying it for a joke. That's a baby mama that, that doesn't love their hey, child. Hey, hey, there's a no, no, no. That's a baby that's mama that said, I'm going to still do me. And I don't know what you look. I don't know what you want to do, little nigga. I'm four. Oh, my God. Get a job, motherfucker. There, there's, there's a dude out in this world that's pulling Dave Chappelle from fucking half-baked levels of finances for the kids. So I'm dude. I'm dude. I'm dude. I'm dudes. <laughs> but you leverage like, other things in the process. Me. I'm like, how I want to make it to dinner. Oh, 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 oh. Dinner folks, folks, this how is how do a- I make it to five o'clock? Oh, oh, folks, <laughs> this is this is how he's about to be my best friend. How this nigga gonna hook me up? This this is the perfect story that shows D's ingenuity on this. All right, this is a 3BG. It was our first year at MAGFest. We had a when we had that panel. D bought Donovan to MAGFest, told Donovan to lie about his age to get MAGFest for free, and it worked like a charm. Oh, yes, I did. what you, bro, you do that at Great American Buffet, too. Do you know that I was, like, do you know that I was, uh, I was 12 for five years? <laughs> <laughs> My tall ass could not be 12 for five years. You can't, can't pull it off, sir. Can't pull it off. Hey, Chris, okay. Two years ago at Otakon, uh, I was looking at the prices, right? And I told my middle son, Tay, you ten, you're 10 years old. And because my son is a sweet, sweet soul, loud as fuck, but dad, I'm 11. Shut the fuck up. You did today. We get up to the counter. I'm like, let me get two, like, let me get like one kid, one, um, one like one under ten and the other one, other one. Like, all right, I got you. That's forty bucks, right? This nigga still laugh, but I'm a left. I'm a, he's about to say I'm a left. My other son, shut up. <laughs> Dottie knows the deal. <laughs> See, hey, let me. The word of advice. One. The hey. oldest one's always the smart one. Hey, hey, look, oh. word. Hey, listen. Word of advice to all millennial parents out there. Have this talk with your children before you go to the event. I exactly. did. Because my son is a bowl of freaking, uh, 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 is a cinnamon roll. The first thing that comes out of my but but Papa. <laughs> I raised my son to be a sweet son. <coughs> I know I did. A little bit too well. Because this nigga doesn't lie when I need him to lie. <laughs> Gonna have himself a good woman. <laughs> Never lie. Oh god, man. Don't Hashtag lie, son. Black. I won't, Papa. Hey. All right, son, I need you to lie. But but compute none. No. You know, hey, hey, hey uh hey, CJ. Black man don't cheat. <laughs> anyway, um <laughs> actually, Chris Harris, I doubt when you put that up there, y'all just gonna say this. <laughs> That's your problem. <laughs> you had- <laughs> I you were gonna say that. Nah, nah, nah. See, 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 it was the short one in that picture who said it for like a full year that black man don't cheat. Look, I was we say don't. That we don't I know. cheat. I know we don't. We don't cheat. We don't. We exercise we don't. options. We don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> I like the buildup of uh of, of our man uh the doc and uh Dalton when they finally you know link up and get it on and shit, you know. It didn't didn't take much, did it? Oh my love. It ain't the same song. I'm just saying. No, it's not the same song. Anytime I see Patrick Swayze and he's about to give the girl the Swayze, I I I Swayze Swayze. Sir, uh, you know that this is a good um a good film when the woman is getting humped against a wall. Well, you know, he she had to get warmed up by uh, Sam Elliott. Remember, you know, he danced with her and stuff. He did, and, you know, and then boom, Pat Swayze swooped in and was like, "I'll take that dance." Can can, can we say, uh, for the record, Sam Elliott was this close to being Mr. Steal Your Girl? Man, I'll man, tell you some sugar. <laughs> the guy, he's like, whatever he's saying is a bold faced lie. My man dipped her in front of him and said, "Don't bet on it." <laughs> I like how he was like, we're going to take this. Fucking, nigga, you better let go of me now because I'm about to wrap all of this around <laughs> something. Around that. Get off <laughs> me, nigga. You play me, but <laughs> That's what I said. Hold, hold, up. Hold, up. The, hold up. And the same thing that uh, that women kind of hit CJ with, ooh, and you tall? <laughs> oh, now, my God. Bro. 
Oh, okay. Real quick. Real quick. I'm in the Green Ranger outfit. Obviously, kids, grown men are losing their mind, right? Old black lady was like, oh, he Green Ranger. Ain't he tall? Eris, I hear him in the helmet. I hear the laugh over the fucking music. <laughs> As this is happening. I'm laughing because the whole time I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Risks are about to be taken here. In front of her husband. In front of her husband, too. She's like, ooh, ain't you tall? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> it's the one. Let, Pretty let much. Me, Pretty let, much. Let, me, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. It's the one time in the world that I wish I could just be in that world of, of just being over what, six what? foot whatever. What? what, what I'm, Eris, I'm sorry to make fun of you. What? Seven inches taller? What are you talking about? It ain't that, no, 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 no. As a nigga that's no. almost breaking six feet? No. It ain't that, it ain't that Eris, glorious. As you're for the grand total of $30,000, you can go to Germany and they can break your knees and you can put a metal pole and you can be tall. Listen. Put a metal pole in yourself, Chris. Nobody listen, ain't doing that listen, shit. Listen. I know they're not. I'm just listen, saying. As a, like, listen. As a German-born American, I will never do that bullshit. You're not gonna have you're not gonna have me fucking around and finding out. I'm walking around and my knees explode. I, I, I gotta mm-hmm. be honest with you. I gotta be Aaron's over there looking you. like Aaron's over there looking like uh, Walter Jr. for four and a half weeks just so he can just so he can. First of all, be hold on. First of four all, four inches taller. And here's the other. Hold on. Here's the other problem with that. Yeah. The arm, the arm the, like yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. The dimension ratio does not; it, it doesn't match. Look, look. I said to on Twitter, with that, I'm not with getting that BBLs for legs, okay? <laughs> I said you need an EBL. <laughs> but nah, here's my thing. Somebody on Twitter, look, Chris. I say I, I saw one on Twitter. Somebody said, you know, if you yoke that nigga in basketball, his whole leg will explode. You hit that nigga with an opposite crossover. Nah, <laughs> bro. The hot sauce shit. Is... You hit that nigga with a hot. Nah. You hit that nigga with a Steph Curry yank. That's bro, it. That's it's, it. It's, it's, that's more, it's, it's more simple. It's it's much simpler than that. A simple po juke. He's done. Man. Flag football is not for him, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Look, I would not suggest uh, uh, musical chairs. For at least a year. <laughs> Anything that requires a snap reaction is gonna fuck him up. Okay. Hold on, hold on, Eris. You Keyword Eris knee like, jerk reaction. Eris, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> <laughs> think about it, Eris. You get the surgery just to be four inches tall. Here's me. Eris, yeah? Are you six feet? A second later, Eric. What's that? It's me. You push like a short nigga. And he still is pushing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just. It, no, I really but Eric, I'm glad. Look, I'm glad I can make jokes with you like that because you know I'm not serious. I really am. <laughs> because I know some people, you make a short joke with them, they're not talking to you for a whole month. Hey, oh, no. They, they, they will not. I they will, not. They will be hey, mad. Hey, Dean says this. I was low-key that way before I finally came out and said it. I was like, I wonder how Eris will feel if I just said we're Nigo, Napa, and Vegeta. If Eris is just going to leap punch me for that shit. And he was like, it, oh, no, 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 I actually love it. I was like, Eris will be for that shit. Nigga, I'm the one handing you the scouter. <laughs> I, was, I don't know. It was just in the I was back like, nigga, of my put mind. it on. I told this to Chris. He's going to be more mad at you for not putting on the weight. So what are you do? <laughs> Bro, we were, at, we were at San Diego Comic Con, and we actually got to stand on that freaking stage, and we did the Napa and Vegeta <laughs> bit. Thing, I would wear a fat suit. Before I fucking gain that weight, I'm sorry, I I, I can't yeah. commit to gaining that much weight. No, 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 no. You, you can't put on the mask, rock, Chris. You can't put on the mask. mask right there. No, man, no, that's the rock type mask. No, I, nah, no, nah, no. I ain't. Somebody be like, "How'd you get that weight?" Uh, natural. Yeah, all natty, baby. No, 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 yeah. no. Technically, <laughs> hold on, Chris. Hold on, Chris. Technically, you can get away with uh with, with being a year. I think what was it? It was year six hundred Napa when he had the mustache and the also, and, oh, and the and hair. The Mohawk. Yeah, the yeah. little mohawk shit. But also, he wasn't that big yet. <clears throat> it'd be a 180. It'd be like old boy from fucking them. It's always sunny when he actually put on weight and had the billy popping out shit. That would be Matt, me, Mac. That's me. 
really right there. Chris, yeah, because if you put on mass, you're just going to get fat. You're not yeah, going to get, <laughs> get big. And then look, and before one of you assholes say, <laughs> buys a tub of mass gainer. <laughs> Harris, and before one of you assholes out there say, <laughs> I guess D could be the door. Yeah. yeah, I would love to be the door. What are you talking about? I loved everything a Kira Toriyama did. So, you cannot shame me, okay? So, that, so by, by a technical standpoint, then, Chris, does that mean, uh, like, D, does that mean that uh, because I'm the one with the pretty enough hair that I got to be Zarbon? Again, not tall enough. And I keep telling you this, Harris. I'm sorry. Off, Zarbon's off, not that Frieza. tall. You could be Frieza. Oh, I would. Oh, I would love to do it. See? I would love to be free. Also, also, uh, uh, but, but, yeah, exactly. Let me be the fucking. Aus- <laughs> let me be. Let me be the fucking tenth import of Australia, Zarbon. Right? You're gonna have to rock that speedo. I will. You're gonna I have, have to problem. talk like this. The, 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 the arm, both arms, the leg warmers, and they're gonna have the sleeves, the leg sleeves. warmers, the speedo. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris. And, and Chris. you gotta get a ponytail. <laughs> hey, you gotta have a little. You gotta have a little marble in the middle of your head. The marble. With a little, little strap of marble hanging off like man, that. Man, I'll, I'll get the fucking Sally Winfield from Posse hair going on and shit and done. Like, it's a wrap. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I would, I would stick. Sally Winfield. Sally Richardson. Sally Richardson. Yeah, Sally Richfield. Sally, now, Sally, Sally Richardson. <laughs> now, the thing is, I would be sitting in the uh, in the glider, but the thing is, both of y'all would have to carry me. <laughs> Eris, real talk. Two hours in, I'm gonna sick of this shit. <laughs> hey, look, I told Eris this though. I was like, Eris, look, 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 we're carrying this shit. We sweating. Eris over here farting, having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, me. I'm still 50 50 on BlurCon. I'm Nash, and he's fucking Scott Hall. That's all I'm saying. Like, I see, he's already saying that because you know I already got the the, the hair. I just, really, I just need on. a Fubu shirt and some tight black pants, and I'm straight, man. That's it. Shirt, all right. But nah, but nah. Well, we Don't, so, 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 no, but 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 the escalation <clears throat> of my man Wesley is just crazy. Like number one, you know he's going into the bar the first time. It's like, well, 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 y'all making some money here, and during this process, he's basically stopping the bar from getting liquor. Dalton calls up his own people's to deliver liquor because you know again Wesley has the run of the mill of connections here and is stopping liquor from coming in. So Dalton calls you know? his boy up. Mm-hmm. As they do. Evil and rich I, white man shit. Yeah, evil rich white man shit. And I like how the bad guys come to the truck and was like, oh, what are you doing here? And he's like, take a break, guy. And this is their revenge. I like how he's getting beat up and you just see the tall dude just breaking glasses. <laughs> Terry Funk having one of the best lines in the movie. Mind your business, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Elliott with that shit eating grin of all right. This same grin. Yes. <laughs> Guess I'm going to have to beat a wrestler's ass. Same way that Ric Flair beat your ass. Let me tell you something, pretty boy. And like what I... happened? He just got tossed. You just got look, tossed. Look, Sam Elliott is the peak definition of old white man brawling. Like he's... I swear, man. If you cut up Sam Elliott in this movie and make him cocaine, Joe Silver's going to snort it. But the thing <laughs> is, <laughs> can I say for the record, gentlemen, when he got into his fighting stance, his freaking Terry Bogart stance, I was like, son, that man sir. has no, he has no opening in his defense sir, whatsoever. Sir, but at sir, the same sir, time, sir, sir, sir. when I saw him throw the punch, I'm like this, that's a Hollywood punch. Come on, Sam. Sir, sir. Come that on. Was, we didn't that, see the hip twist. No, there was sir, no hip the, twist. We didn't see a turn with that, Joe. You know what I mean? Nice. That is now, the beginning. That's the beginning of Street Fighter. It was. Double deuce. Double deuce. Hey, hey, you know what? Somebody, somebody who, somebody out there, please, any millennial, because it has to be a millennial. Somebody, please get in Mugen and make a row, a, a freaking row house fighting be, game. No, I'm sorry, it won't be a millennial. It will be a freaking Gen Xer, and he's never going to put it out. But also, Sam Elliott's character had the most dope name, Wade Garrett. Wade Garrett. He looks Wade like a Wade Garrett. Garrett. Wade Garrett. And Wade Garrett, when he wants to fight you, and he gets serious, he puts his hair in a ponytail. Because he's about ready to go. It's go time. Bro, when, you saw, when you saw him pull out... The rubber bands. Oh man, <laughs> but man, if you were a white boy with long hair, that was like, yo, you put that shit in the ponytail. That's what you did. You'll put it in the ponytail and you go in for the fight. 
<laughs> oh man, man, oh man. And then, you know, apparently he had a uh, minus 10 on defense to knives. So, you know. Well, that was both him and uh Jane, I mean both him and Dalton's uh weakness. Knives, knives. <laughs> apparently, apparently when you're old white man, knives, you just <clears throat> not the bo- not big ass Rambo Bowie knives, but like the Leon, the Leon Ke- uh, the Leon Kennedy from RE2 uh knife. Cause everybody would just pull out these little small, you know, small like, About the like, size of this this remote, basically. Yeah, you know, like little remote control size mm-hmm. knives, and just you get you get that one cut, you know, I got, a, I, a slight cut. This movie had a dare. I gotta be movie. real with you. Oh no, real mm-hmm. quick, on on way. You know when 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 men and women at the same time would ooh my genitals when he did this when he reached and whoop, pulled his hair back. I like yo. Oh, How bro. handsome are you, nigga? <clears throat> Sir, when Sam, he... Samuel, where's any of this coming from? Holy look, look, I had a daredevil. Man, oh, good. My man said, um, he said, What are you gonna do? Kiss me? Oh, I sure as hell ain't gonna show you my dick. <laughs> here's me. No, what he said, here's me. I mean, you could. <laughs> Dog, again. There's a lot of homosexual energy in this movie. <laughs> look, look, again, we, we were... again, take one look at this. <laughs> hey, yo, look. Hey, yo, real talk. If Jake Hall and his second ain't kissing, <laughs> kissing or hugging each other too long in that movie, there's a failure. I need to look to see who's the old man in that movie. It better be somebody good because, like, nah, bro. You it gotta... better be Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> man, man. Man, oh, 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 a boy from Scarface is boy. Oh, 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 wait, are you talking about uh Stephen Bauer? Oh, man, you gotta give me Stephen Bauer. No, you gotta get no, Stephen. I'm, I'm not doing it no more. No, 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 no. Stephen, Stephen Bauer, Bauer, number one, number one, Stephen Bauer's gotta drop the weight. Mm. Yeah, that ain't happening, homie. That ain't happening. <laughs> That's like I asking ain't for Ray that's Donovan. Like, what makes you think I'm gonna drop it for this? That's like me asking for uh. God, that's like me asking him. Now nah, he's too big now. He, he like he's too like he's too Hollywood. He's too Hollywood to get Brian Cranston to do it. Mm. Can you imagine Brian Cranston swinging on somebody? I mean, I'm looking at the cast. I'm not. T- I'm not talking about the tussle that he did between him and Jesse and Breaking Bad. I mean, like actual <laughs> white karate. <laughs> I'm looking at the casting. The closest you're gonna get is uh, my man that was the villain in Fast Five. That's the only old man in this movie, honestly. Oh him? Yeah, he's in it. Yeah, huh. maybe he maybe he is the Sam Elliott character because he's the sheriff of the town. So you know, we got Conor McGregor, yeah, yeah. Lucas Gage. I love Jessica. Yeah. Wood. I love Jessica Williams, but she's. I got a feeling that like Conor McGregor is going to play the Terry Funk role. He's going to. No, get no, up. no. He's our man T. He, he's that T. He's the T character. Dead serious. Hopefully, he won't get too many lines because Conor McGregor. Post Malone is going to play the other boy. <laughs> yes. Post, I'm in country music now, Malone. Gotcha. Uh, I don't do black music no more because white people say, all right, you, get, you did enough. You can come over here now. Oh, that nigga ain't going to be in no Spider-Man 3 doing the music. Kiss that. Kiss I, lo- 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 I love how I love how they did that, how certain art, because it's going to happen to Jack Harlow, too. Where his parents is like, we're gonna give you no more. We're not giving you no more money, Jack. Why not do country like you told? Like do rock and roll like we told you to. Oh man. Okay. I wanna go gotta on get the, that inheritance. A... <laughs> Jack Harlow with that look. Jack Harlow's album. Unlike look, Post Malone. At least I could say, all right. Enough of the Negroes like you. <laughs> Jack Harlow, on the other hand, was like, "Wow!" So it's just this. It's just the Drake song and nothing else on here, is it? This is pathetic. Throw it away. Throw it away now. Throw I'm it away now. No, no, no. You lost points in the nigger community. All right. G Easy is still here. That's how low the bar was. I'm kind of mad that this movie premiered at South by Southwest, and we as film crickets did not get. Uh, like, oh, it's coming out very soon because that's because of the whole. It's thing. already out, but I'm saying I'm talking about. No, it ain't from, out yet. Not on no, it, no, it no, no, it came out on the eighth at South by Southwest. Oh, I don't count this. I'm counting that because we we usually you know we're supposed to get our stuff from them. That's cool. Harris, is look, is this the Toronto? Is this Tiff? Tiff. <laughs> is this Tiff? Uh, is you know what? Tiff? I'm not even gonna respond to that. <laughs> I'm not. Is this Sundance? 
Okay. It's fucking Stop Vietnam. Mitching, it's South by Southwest. That's where all the poor the poor critics go to. I don't know. It's whatever. like Vietnam anyway. helicopters flying past areas in the background. Like <laughs> Speaking of helicopters, like you said, he owns his own helicopter. He's he's it's like every escalation of what he does. I'm still one of like, yo, so how, how did our boy get how did he, look that was a daredevil double D moment? Somebody took the time while they were beating his ass to write a note and said, All right, paste it on it. <laughs> like first no, first where did you find a pencil? That's why I wanted to know. Like, well, you, sir, that was a marker, okay? And written in all written in all caps, said it was tails. Because how are you gonna how are you gonna say, All right, Dalton, you know. You killed uh you killed you killed Jimmy Kane, so you killed uh, my best man, so uh gotta so do you I, one better. I, I, like so here's the question. Here's here's what's on the uh the docket for the morning. Elizabeth or Wade? What are you talking about? One of them dies. Very simple. I'm gonna let you choose. Ah, since you can't choose, I'm gonna go ahead and flip a coin. <laughs> Flips a coin, my man, dude, the, the most coin villain, the <laughs> most villain, most villain shit ever. I wish I could tell you how it turned out. <laughs> Bro, that right there was a sign when Garrett, I mean, when Wade comes back and he's already bloodied up and shit, talking about it was only three of them. Sir, you can barely walk. You know what? This way, like, you're probably asking, like, what what happened? Oh, 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 uh, um, uh, Reno got his throat ripped out. Oh, it was dope. He gets jabbed in the fucking. Cr- he got jabbed in like the 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 the, the gooch thigh upper thigh area, <laughs> yes. which you didn't get quite punched in the dick, but it's 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 sensitive he in that the area. Gooch. The gooch. It's in he the gooch area. Gooch. It was like bam, and then gooch region. First of all, he got but, his leg cut. His leg got caught in the tree. <laughs> then he got punched but in the gooch. You forget this is what led to it. This is what led to it. I used to fuck guys like you in prison. All right, DMX L- Junior, Jesus. No lines that would not fly today. Question, um, my son. So what? Pause. So wow. so when he said, well, like by saying that line, oh God, I think I'm gonna put that in the in the re- I think I'm gonna put that in the in in the they current better. movie. They it better. needs to be in there because Conor McGregor would say that because Conor McGregor. Have you, Ooh, in the, have, you, have you in a cross face chicken wing and say some you, look, say some McGregor, sus shit like that? Let me tell you something. It's up his alley, but somebody say it ain't up his alley. Trust me, it is. Because Conor McGregor heard that somebody was talking shit about his boy. He got on a plane with the finest of with the finest of Colombian yes. substances. Yes. yes, that yes. wasn't the TV I edit. To, I, I used to fight, fight guys, guys like you. I mean, it sounds normal. Yo. Yo, Conor McGregor would say that shit. Conor McGregor got on a plane with the finest of Colombian substances, got to New York City, yelled at people on a bus, threw a dolly at the bus. He yells in Irish gibberish. Also, Authentic. also I am glad that I am glad that Conor McGregor is in this movie and not serving time for that, you know, that rape charge he had. Mm. Yeah. Well, D, 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 anyway, D, sir, I sir, mean, sir, I mean, sir, I mean, let's be honest with you. I mean, what? what if I mean, you're what, a if you're a top athlete, what? it's the American way, sir. Come I, on, I mean, what are you? I mean, what are you gonna? I mean, he's no. Irish, Chris. There is no. Hey, Mike Tyson beat a rape charge a couple of times. I'm just Actually, saying. I keep on forgetting Dana White is look Dana White. You know the guy that went upside side the head of his wife a couple few times in front of people. Look, yeah, Dana White. Dana point. White gives off small dick energy. All right, I'm not. Dana White is small dick. He looks like a small dick. If you look at his head proportion, he looks like a small penis. He actually really does. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, I mean, who do you go for at this point? You go for Conor McGregor or a uh, you know an aged uh, Tito Ortiz? Hmm. Tito Ortiz can't remember shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I fight. Because I I fight and I fight in prison. Tito Ortiz doesn't remember he was in like three movies. All right, come on. Tito Ortiz, you cannot give him more than four lines at one time. Tito Ortiz was elected city council because he was rocking a a, a MAGA hat. Is that real? Is it real? Can the black man do the running man? Yes, it's real. Like, come on now. And D-Froze. You tell me, sir. (laughs) 
You Actually, tell no, me. That's not Tito Ortiz. That's it? Tito Ortiz elected city council. Oh shit! Damn. I thought that was the the other dude. Um, I forgot the the other guy. Um, I thought that was that's that's what it was. But yeah, wow. Yeah. You tell me, D. Are you sure that's Tito Ortiz? That, 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 that's Tito. That is Tito Ortiz not, elected look, city council. Harris, that's not Sean Strickland. That's not Sean Strickland. Shut up. That ain't no son. That ain't Sean Strickland. Anyway. I gotta look. Look, I'm trying to get all my I'm trying to get all my MAGA supporter MAGA MMA supporters together here. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> no, and of course, and of course you go to I Black Belt. And of course, of course, country, and of course I go to Black Belt magazine to see that or to, like to see that information. And of course that shit cannot be found. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, yeah, but nah. And my man got the knife in the chest with the message, and uh, you know, Dalton is out for vengeance. I love it though, because if you're like me, you're looking at the you're looking at it, but the, you're looking at you know the dead body of uh, of Wade in the Yamcha pose. No, here's the here's the thing. <laughs> yes, the Yamcha pose. The Yamcha pose. R.I.P. Tori over. Now here's the thing. Sam Elliott is a great actor. But Sam Elliott is too manly because when he flipped him over and you saw his body, if you look at his neck, you can still see. You can still see the pulse. No, did you see the pulse pulsing in his neck? I'm like, yo, come on, bro. I'm like, he's all right. He's all right. I swear, man. I swear this movie, man, with all the <laughs> this movie is so crazy. So, of course, he's like, no, nah, final stage. Tonight, let's go. <laughs> that hold on, guys. That was the part that bugged me. It turned into it turned no. into Bayou Billy at the end of this. No, 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 <laughs> Bayou Billy. Stop it, D. No, here's what bugged me. So you mean to tell me that after you took out uh Jimmy Kane, ripped his throat out, instant finish him, fatality. You had the nerve to like, dr- like, to, like, yeet him across the river to Wesley's house, saying, "Wesley, fuck you." You, you then go to Wade and say, "Wesley wins, man. He wins. We're out of here." So wait a minute. He he blew up a general store. Drove he, a. Full drove Bigfoot through a dealership. Drove, drove a Bigfoot through a dealership. Blew up. A tall Wilford Brimley's house. You took also, out. Hold on. You took out his number two, and you mean to tell me that you were just gonna <sighs> quit and run, bro? That's also, like take. Is- hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You don't take out Billy Kane. Step in front of Geese, a uh, Geese Tower, and be like, you know what? I'm good. And this has nothing to do with it, but this scene happened. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> By the way, and I'm not showing it again. That was one of the uh, the old bouncers with one of the underage girls they let into the bar. Remember. 1980s. Uh, <laughs> hey, D, remember, she was going to be his uh, regular Saturday night. I'm sorry to tell you this. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, one millennial. That probably was your mama. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. If you were born in 1990 and your mom was a skank, that was probably your mama. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to therapy for that right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Your mama gave great head. <laughs> anyway, watch the uh, Freaking documentary on Hulu right now. Full pants, cupping too. Anyway, <laughs> twist action, like the kung oh, fu grip. Dick twist. <laughs> it's like the kung fu grip. Did it have to be signed, my nigga? Sixty nine ninety nine like is still like, too high. I'm like right. Tito Ortiz can't spell Donald Trump's name, and he had to have Make America Great to get on his cap. He's the guy that holds his pencil like this. <laughs> Tito Ortiz survived. Uh, hold on, Tito survived gang violence in L.A. He's actually a, a hero where he came <sighs> from. He had a tough life, and you know what? Good for him. He's a f- look. Despite him being like that, being the way he is, Tito Ortiz is actually a fucking legend in MMA. So <laughs> Pro- problematic. <laughs> That's why I got my hands on A. <laughs> problematic All Star. Problematic All Star, y'all. Problematic All Star. Mush brain. Problematic <laughs> All Star. 
I want to put it that way. Do you know that Mike Tyson? Never mind. Anyway, you know what? Never mind. Let's just keep going. <laughs> we almost done with this. We done. With nah, this. but like, I just like how the movie tried to at one point try to make me believe that there was such a closeness in fucking them Wesley and Dalton when they came. Oh to no, fight. there was never. There was never. There was never one. They just didn't want to do what um, Seagal did to Henry Silva, you know, fold, turning him into a folding chair. But they that was the thing, because we talked about this. I was like, if Scott Atkins did this shit, he would have fucking killed everybody in, like, the first act. Like This would have been... They would have been, the movie like, would have been overly... Game. The movie would have been overly serious. A 30-minute short story. Said, it's kind of funny. I feel like the third act is where critics is like, you know what, this is stupid. And the reason why, because all the action movie tropes showed up. Jack hey, comes in there with a car driving by itself. I was like, don't hit, hit a ramp over a bush, by the way. One dude, one shot it. Boom. Blows up. I'm like, this movie's silly. <laughs> Gun Wasn't even the house. there. Go find the house turns in the home alone. And I'm like, really? Yo, Real cool. Hold on. Hold on. When you dr- got jumped by a polar bear. A stuffed polar bear. Wait a second. Wait a second. Y'all know when he drove his Mercedes through the yard, you can see the stunt driver's hands controlling the wheel. Speaking also about that the Mercedes, quote unquote by one of those rednecks, what's wrong? Detroit ain't good enough for you? <laughs> what's wrong honest. with American cars? I gotta be honest with you. Gotta be real. That's the most American you shit. Got a point, used- man. What's wrong with look? What's wrong with a Chevy, man? It's still the late eighties. They would, hey. they would. What's wrong with a vet? Is what I'm saying. What's wrong with a Camaro back then? Hey. Uh, a ninety eighty, a eighty eight Camaro. Come on, who's gonna say no hey, to that? Hey, we said it best, you know. We used to be a proper nation. It used to be something, man. <laughs> we used to be a dollar problem. menu was no. real. No, no, until no, no. about two thousand six. No, okay? gentlemen. No, gentlemen. We used to be a proper society. We used to be something. Before we started letting the gays and the blacks say stuff, we used to be some. <laughs> look, all I'm saying is we had meaning behind our words. Look, 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 look. I get joy out of Elon's Cybertruck being a piece of shit that it is. I don't Ooh, understand boy. how so many bros really think that Cybertruck is going to change the game of hauling shit. Bros, this is the reason why women are calling you men pussies and you're not real men. Because they want Sam Elliott's, not Elon Musk. All right, Sam man. Elliott is a all the way GM. No, it's a oh yeah, it's a all the way K. It's a all the way uh, was it a K one fifty? Was it a K one fifty or was it was, was, was no like K. That. Because the Kate, oh God, I forgot them jokes. The old Suburbans, nigga. That's what he is, man. No, he's not. Sam, listen, you are not going to tell someone as rugged as him that uh, they that, that he's a GM. Chef, Sam yeah. Elliott. Yeah. Sam, no, Sam Elliott is a Cadillac, and you know that. That's a GM, nigga. No, yeah. but I'm, ta- I'm talking specific. <laughs> Specifics, my nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Specifics was the same. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Sam will say this. I do like the Cadillac. But there needs to be a little bit more ruggedness to this. <laughs> well, nah, mean, nah, nah. See, you see, if you cut the mustache off, you're a Lincoln. Yeah, he's a Lincoln. He's a Matthew now, McConaughey. Mustache is on. Man. You better get that nigga F three fifty. He's a Matthew McConaughey. Hey, Matthew McConaughey is like a Lincoln spokesperson now. I love he it. He is. Man. Actually, I think you said the person that should have played Wade in the new one. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, Matthew McConaughey, man. McConaughey halfway ripped. Yep. <laughs> Halfway ripped and make still, sure he don't shave for a week. He's hold up, still got his uh he, he's still in shape from the gentleman in Interstellar. Oh no, he's looking like his boy from uh uh Free State Jones. <laughs> yes. God uh, you guys go on, man. It would be great. Now now I say that's the problem. See, you're doing all this MMA shit, you're not doing what's Wait. actually that is perfect. That Wait. is perfect. No, 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 no. Bro. I got the no. When he when he when he finally catches up with Dalton. Well, hey there, mijo. <laughs> Why, mijo? Why? Because that's what he calls him. Hey, 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 hey. To, to my, to, hey, bump. I love you to death. You fucked up. Could have had the money. Could have had You it had all. the money. You have the money to get him, and you fucked up. You, you, hey, you're right, you're I would right actually. Hey, hey. I reshoots, nigga. Hey, Let's hey, marvel hey, this hey, shit. Hey, hey, look, reshoots. Look. I take Woody Harrelson. 
Mm-mm. I love Woody, but no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. You no. need a Matthew. I love Woody, but no. You, Pause. You I love Woody, but no. <laughs> you need Matthew for this because can, can you really think about it? Just just again. I again, see the that, hold all up. of him. No, no, no. Doing, doing no this line. Man. No, 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 no. This line, Matthew McConaughey. Well, I'm certainly not going to show you my dick. Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, girl with all that brains with an ass like that? With an that. ass like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something. My, my out there pick, if he was still alive, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta, no. Mm, Cigarette hanging Liotta. out his Look, mouth. Chris, nah, nah, Chris, nah, 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 Ray Liotta nah, nah, stopped nah. doing anything physical. After Copland, and you okay. know that. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Chris, <laughs> like Chris, Chris, it would never work. Ray Liotta's too leathery. <laughs> As old men are, you're right. Old white men, I should say, are. You're right. You're too right. leathery. You're right. Oh, God. There's a bunch of Italians at, right now, Eris, looking at you. Okay. Watch your back. Except they're saying it in Italian. <laughs> angry in red sauce um <laughs> raging and ragu steaming 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 in bronzer <laughs> <laughs> stairs in alfredo <laughs> oh, oh god uh, <laughs> brazen in barillo Disapproving risotto. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start. Okay, listen, listen. So as we go, Hopefully this old man can fight. Hey, look, Aaron, hey, Chris, Chris, Madden. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hopefully this old Madden man. Madden Mario rap. Hey, look, I love, I respect. The Furious and Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Stairs and Enzo. Stairs and Enzo. Oh, look, God. look, I, I respect the look, bad let's guy. Be real. It's Pauly. Look, all, all it is just look, 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 look. I ain't saying that Italians don't get down like niggas because y'all do. But real talk, what we just did, all y'all doing is the Pauly Walnuts to you. Shut up, you fucking. <laughs> That's all y'all doing. <laughs> Hey, hey, look, hey, hey, hey look, we already got we already got yeeted off a of Twitch. He did aiming, okay? <laughs> Air punches in IROC Z28. <laughs> Angry and mm, 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 mm. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Tevin, you ain't shit. It's a rigged Mamma Mia. <laughs> won't you give me like won't you cook out one of them collard leaf <laughs> won't you cook up one of them collard green linguinis? Collard green chitlins I like <laughs> chicken Alfredo. Chitlins I'm Alfredo. Alfredo. Hey, look, look, look. Wesley Stipes delivered. Yes, sir. The Twitch man. <laughs> hey, look, Wesley Stipes, that was peak ignorant black man. That was. that was that was peak ignorant black man on that one. Chitlin Alfredo. But no, sir. How is it that my like, man? I respect him saying "fuck this shit." Pulls the blicky out. <laughs> no, but, no, but think about this. He's like, see, I wanted to fight you, but now I just ain't got the time. I'm, I, I'm thinking, no, it ain't that you ain't got the time. <laughs> that hip about to go. <laughs> <laughs> check, that check engine light is like his <laughs> check <laughs> engine light came on twice. <laughs> Joe, you know you check it. Hold on, oh, hold on. For everybody who had an old BMW, you know when you turn your car on, the check in light, uh, engine light cut on, and then it stay on, and you turn it off and hope that when you turn it back on, it goes away. <laughs> that that was him when he Dalton was like this. That first check engine light came on. No, no, look, look. He started getting the chime the second he snapped that uh, stick in half. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. <laughs> Oh, that whole fight. When he 
think I dropped. I swear I heard that airport, like the airport PA, the white zone is for loading and <laughs> unloading only. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up, hey, hey. hang up and dial. Internally, it's like that fucking that Michael Irvin, that Michael Irvin video. My CTE is acting up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. First of all, you have the worst. You have the worst hired goons, the worst second story men ever. Because look, look, one of they're the guys coming looks in like a final wanna, fight villain. I mean, bro, they're like coming henchmen. in with pistols. They're world and, hero <laughs> villains. Don't do that. They're world heroes. They're villains, world nigga. hero villains because they're coming in with pistols, akimbo style shotguns, and not a single person could even touch Dalton, bro. When my man, when my man grabbed. Like grab the dude that actually killed get like killed uh, Wade, spun him around just so he can get shot with a shotgun by his partner. I'm like, you guys suck. All of a sudden, no, Bill Wu comes out of nowhere with the fucking akimbos and shit. No, make it worse. Make it worse. After he at the uh shot him with the shotgun, <laughs> freaking Dalton hits him with the Schwarzenegger stick around knife. <laughs> Yo, I like how he kicks the knife up in the air, looks up, catch it. <laughs> I'm like, come <laughs> on. Fucking Bill Wu comes in there akimbo like, ah. And I'm like, bro, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Dude, everybody be everybody got washed. And I think it was only be because real. there was only five minutes left Power. in the movie. Power washed. <laughs> <laughs> No bullshit. I like hey, you hey, not. Hey, D, D, hey, D, touchless car wash. Harris, no bullshit. Because my son knows my son knows my show. When he saw all those bodies on the ground, I bullshit you not. He literally did this. You blew it. You had it all and you blew it. Uh. It was like, look, Donovan was like, how were there four of them with guns? I'm like, son, it's the 80s. It's the 80s, kid. It was no, just it's, the, it's the last of the 80s, too. Look, 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 look. All these guys, it's the 80s. Obviously, all four of these guys didn't go to Vietnam, so you had people who couldn't shoot. Here's the sick part. Here's the sick part. In a John Wick movie, four guys is still insulting. It's like, the fuck is this shit? Four First guys. of all, in a John Wick movie, we would see all of these guys look, get pieced out. Also, also, if it is four guys and they're given lines, the fight scene will last at least six minutes before <laughs> six. That shit was three minutes. Hey, look, I'm sorry. When he shot those three guys after they got hit in Paris in the air, I'm like, well, I, know. Pop, 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 I gotta be real with you. I felt bad for every dude that got killed in the in the in the Miami hotline scene because like we didn't even see your face. <laughs> Y'all just got bucked. One dude got set on fire. <laughs> Dog was home alone in these niggas, including my man. I got knocked down by a polar bear. I can't even say home alone. It was more. It was more like Rambo trapping. I mean, bro. So here's the best part. Dalton has a chance to kill him, and he doesn't. But you know who does? My nigga Red. The town folks. The town town folks, basically, they all. Right when he my nigga with look your boy Wilford Brimley. (laughs) <laughs> oh! <coughs> Hang on, your look, look, Chris's boy, old prospector that gave Dalton the uh, <laughs> gave, gave Dalton his a room. Your boy, image. <laughs> man, look, man, look. Um, we need to admit that uh, <laughs> old white men in their nineties were built for tough back then. <laughs> boy, how are you taking these buck shots and still no, not even it? that, man. The people. Yo, T like literally punches an old man that would probably like incinerate an old man now and shit. This dude took a punch and was like, that ain't shit. Like, god damn, like see <laughs> shout out to my boy that called home called my nigga Red a draft dodger though. That's the nigga that got balls right there. <laughs> Son, how is it um going back to going back to Jimmy Kane real quick? This is what I, this is what I think led to this movie getting the forty five percent Rotten Tomatoes uh, rating when the doc runs to the aid of the of the freaking <laughs> runs to the aid of Billy Kane who got his throat ripped out to check and see if he's all right. But you don't go to Patrick Swayze like you literally why. 
You literally. Well, what was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't. You literally just got done sleeping with him, and because you don't agree with his philosophy behind you. Well, well, you see, Harris. We'll, we'll see. Hold on. His hold temperament, on. We'll, if you will. Well, we'll see. Here's the thing, sir. See, 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 see what you need to understand. The need, need to survive. No, no. What you need to understand is that women need to understand their place. You see, you don't question a man why he's doing because man things. Because like, that's the point. That's the whole thing. She, she, she's a doctor, but you know, she's still a woman, and she, she wants to make it all about her, and not about the situation. Hey, you know, you know patriarchy. <laughs> hey, look! I love the, I uh, the physique of my boy Patrick Swayze. It just <laughs> look, it looks weaker than it should. Hey, but look, in the eighties, that was that was uh, that was awesome. That's a like, man that says no to bread. No, this is this is exactly what I said, dude. He's shit. He's, look, you say no to bread. Look at my boy. Uh, look at my boy Teague over there with that. Teague, Teague, Teague. No, 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 no. 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 D, D, this goes back to what I said. He's. He's Jimmy from, no, from no, Double no, Dragon. No, 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 but hold on. He's Bimmy. That's Teague, Bimmy. No, no, no. Teague ate a couple of loaves of bread. That's why he still keeps his shirt on in that scene. You know, the, the eight pack, the six pack ain't defined because he had two loaves but, of bread. By the way, by the I way. ate American bread, sir. American <laughs> bread. By the way. Not that keto <laughs> homosexual crap y'all eat today. By the way, gentlemen, you didn't you didn't let me uh do the joke. I was just gonna say. Yeah, she's a doctor, but her salary means nothing to me. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> the salary means nothing. It re- <laughs> hey, look, these Negroes be like that. It be like they say that. Shit. I like how the town the town went into full Spartacus mode, and they all like. I don't know what happened. He just landed. Son, on bullets. Here's what made it so great. Everybody got their shots off. Your boy said, This is our town. And don't you forget it. Chest shot. So here's my thing. Falls over, crashes into a table, right? My man, dude, you landed on the coffee table. That was probably an expensive went coffee right table. And went, went, went right, right through it, it, right? Son, like clockwork. It's as if they practice this. I think they rehearsed the shit because they said, listen, oh, everybody gets just, everybody gets a shot off, right? Everybody gets a shot off. Hand the guns. Hand oh, them all off. Oh, he went oh, out, oh, out oh, back he, and buried hey, hey, him. Harris, when he said when he said that he went through the motherfucking table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, second your boy went look, second your boy went, oh oh Wesley went to that table, baby. Here's my nigga Red. What's up, baby? Talk that shit now. Yes. You know that. Yes. And then, and then something magical happens, everybody. The cops finally show up. Apparently the cops. Apparently the cops, cops existed? <laughs> Gentlemen, the cops not only exist, but like every 80s movie, they show up at the end when all the damage was done. We got to see A the Bigfoot. Fu- Went through a car dealership. Not good enough. We got to see, we got to see fire trucks when Red's general store exploded. But okay, we did not we... see a single squad car show up until no, there wasn't a mayor. There, there was, was no mayor. mayor. There. there wasn't. It's however, country. Hold on. However, however, we did oh, immunity. Your boy who, uh, your boy who had the Ford, like the Ford dealership. Look, I can get in touch with my friend. He's got a friend who uh, works for the FBI. Just by saying that, he got this a Bigfoot. Is, this that, was, that he had a Bigfoot that that uh, that did a rampage through his dealership. Here's my thing: this story only works with respect to it literally being a small ass town in the middle of nowhere. Because even like you said, Sue. It being in the outskirts of Kansas City, it, like you said, it's still city adjacent. It's like if some shit happened in Largo, basically, and it's like, well, niggas, um, the cops DC. are going to hear about that. Yeah, you know, right? So it's like, okay, now hold on. You know what? We can't say that, Chris, because we are in a big city, and we're we're the big city, but 
the suburbs of a big city is still going to be something lost. happens so in La Plata. Count. That doesn't count. That La Plata, doesn't count. like La Plata, and it makes Hold it. On. La Plata, La Plata in 1999. Yes, when yes. it was still a farm town out there. Yeah, that. Yeah. You know, but the fact that the police here, it's like, this is the outskirts of Kansas City. You mean to tell me that this guy has such a stronghold on this town of like probably a smooth 3,000 at least? He had that much of an iron grip on that town? Really? Like, and I would say that out of the 3,000, the double deuce was the only spot, huh? <laughs> Martinis didn't exist. I mean, tell me that one that, look, look, I don't want to know the boy. No you know what Keith Davis said? Keith Davis said, I should have stayed at the black ball on the other side of the tracks. <laughs> That's the good ball. <laughs> Let me ask you, this is a good way to end this. I think we've always talked about, like, the black equivalent of things, right? Oftentimes, I ask myself, like, you try to do a black roadhouse. Obviously, the it's going to be a difference in terms of the tone and certain things. But, like, I keep sitting back and I'm like, could you actually do that? And it actually feel like, okay, that's logical. I it's guess. Gonna get, look, let me put it this way. It Like, my thing is this. Much like when you have, much like with um, when there's a white movie, they have it going a certain certain way. With black movies, I think at the end of the day, when we do it, if we make it a little bit too original and we don't put a drug dealer in there, <laughs> we do something wrong. So I think you can make it a black movie, but good lord, it has to be its own movie. It can't be what we see in here. You know what I mean? Well, that, that, unfortunately, you you can't look. make a copy copy of this and make it all black. If you do. Look. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Look, if they did, uh, if they did make this into a black film, just don't do nothing stupid and have the money being crypto. <laughs> Thanks, Superfly. Not a specific, not a specific on uh, Bitcoin. Crypto, just crypto, just crypto. What is crypto? That's the future. You don't know what Bitcoin and none of this shit is, do you, nigga? Crypto. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to you, if Conor McGregor is like, look, hey, Aaron, Aaron, that was a Joel Silver movie too. It was, yeah, yeah the new one is. Superfly um, was a Joel Silver movie. Look, look, all I'm saying is, if this new one, the villain does look a little tech broy, so if it, it, it feels like there might be some crypto shit happening. Hey, wait a minute, NFTs. Hey, oh, wait a minute, man, they're trying to bring NFTs back. Hold on, hold on, Joel, this movie. The Matrix, and now the new Roadhouse. Joel, are you saying yes to things that you used to that are? He's saying yes to stuff that's in real house. No, like buddy. No, no, no. <laughs> this, The Matrix, all the black and Asian martial arts movies of the early two thousands. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the last three. It's like, hey, Joel. Oh yeah. Are you afraid of something new, <laughs> um, Joseph? Joseph, Joseph, D, D, Joe, Mr. Silverberg, D, 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 you are forgetting the bump is a part of old Hollywood. Mm. Of course, he's more importantly, and we have to say this because it's actually true, Harris. He's a part of old 80s Hollywood, and that is technically old Hollywood. Mm. You're right. You're right. We have uh, because usually with us we say oh Hollywood's the sixties and all that. No, that's ancient, nigga. We're living in two thousand twenty now, nigga. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I may, if I may, it's <laughs> probably if I may. This is gonna piss some people off, but fuck it. I'm just, I gotta speak on it because all three of us we we are products of of this movie and the timeline. Um, you know, he's from a time where you go into a juke joint, restaurant, bar, double deuce. It was literally just. The uh, the bathroom said men and women. Hmm. Back hmm. in a time where that meant something. Juke joint started, but the, look, I saw off, that too. First off, first Air. off, first off, Air. the world is not ready for that. And the yeah, it is. And we are not ready for the America that we're seeing today. <laughs> the America off, we're seeing first today. Off, first off, somewhere Steven Seagal is looking at that movie like. Why is there Negroes doing martial arts on my TV? No, 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 he's not. Steve, Steve, Steven Seagal is still ducking America because I know he didn't ain't paid taxes in years. So <laughs> also as he's hiding said, out in Belize. Also, we said this before. No, right? Belarus. That's Belarus. Like country that would take him. Also, going by the tone of the voice, Michael John White was almost about ready to fucking kick the shit out of Steven Seagal for saying some shit too. So 
I just like I just like again, again, we said this early offline. If you gave this movie to a Scott Atkins, it would be way too serious because Scott Atkins is a real martial artist. So you can't you better get him somebody that he's facing off that is on par with him. You have to, and let, let, you have to give him some real fighters, you know, to go against. And I'll be honest with you, the more authentic fighters you get, the acting goes takes a dip. Okay, so you're gonna so that's you run that risk of doing that. I've, I've watched all getting the a Jake Gyllenhaal movies. and making sure that he gets in shape and do do the due diligence is a lot easier than and actually lean, getting a, a martial artist and to show lean, up yeah, yeah, and leaning MMA. We duck Caucasian karate. All right, it, it, that, it was the logical way you had to go MMA with. It. Here's the funny thing. The person that choreographed this movie was what I call a good Caucasian. I mean, he's not really Caucasian. He's he, he's from um he's from Uruguay, Uruguay, uh, Uruguay, that is, or uh, as or as Homer says, you are gay, which is Benny gay. the Jet. Benny, Benny the, the Jet. jet. Just... Hmm? No, I said no. I was just saying Benny the Jet. Yeah, oh, Benny, Benny the Jet, the jet did or this shit, man. Look, Benny, I survived a fight with Jackie Chan the Jet twice. Oh, oh, Benny, Benny, I knocked on the door. Hey, Jackie, is, who's that girl? No, no, no. You see nothing. You see nothing. I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. <laughs> this is actually my wife. This is actually my wife. That's not your wife, Jackie. Get out. <laughs> oh, throws a shitty wig on, on Anita Mui. <laughs> it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of trust J- in your Jackie. JC Chan. Papa, who's that girl? <laughs> Fucking hate you, JC. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you and your mama ain't shit. <laughs> Fun fact: Jackie hates both his kids. He really um, does. <laughs> oh, oh! Don't tell. Trust me, that broke my heart seeing Jackie really on some respectability politics with his kids. Like, god damn! Like, yo. Not to mention, not to mention Jackie losing fans off of him uh, standing <clears throat> with the uh, Hong Kong. Yeah, standing with Hong Kong or uh, did he lose fans? Because you know America, yeah, we, we don't give a shit. No, I'm talking about he lost talking... some, not enough. Let's yeah, put nah, it, that it wasn't was enough, a... but he definitely lost. He definitely lost in the put it like put it like this. There was a shortage of chairs. Well, you know what? You're right. He just did a movie with John Cena. You're probably right on that. You're probably right he's probably that. fine. <laughs> he's John... probably fine. Jonathan Cena. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. That's... So, oh, okay, people, mm-hmm. please go out and get a uh, roadhouse on beautiful, crisp 4K. It's already out, came out shit, November 25th, 2022. I had to this is that. actually, let's see, the one thing that Roadhouse really has above a lot of things, it had multiple releases, you know. Yeah, I Shout mean, Factory did a release for it back in 2016. Shout Factory did one, M- MGM had one, they got a Blu ray release, and all the rest of it. So, yeah. This is one of those things you can find it. Oh, <laughs> It'll by be the easy way, to find. by the way, do not watch Roadhouse Two. Roadhouse Two, we will never do it. Um, I unfortunately watched it because um, I was walking through Walmart and it was in the five dollar bin, and I was laughing at the cover of it because it's literally some random white dude that was in a CW show with two Maxim women behind him. Apparently, he plays good Dalton. titties. Yeah, he, apparently, he plays Dalton's. Son and um yeah son? yes uh they killed Dalton in the movie mm-hmm. off screen I think and they literally tried to piece together <laughs> that Dalton's death had something to do with the plot of the story it was like, <laughs> please tell me please tell me they got like some shitty Patrick Swayze look alike you just saw the back of his oh head. like the That's back it. of his head it's yeah. just the and back again, of his... you mean to tell me that Jake Busey was in this movie. Yeah, normally when you get sequels to movies like this, it's a sequel that has nothing to do with the like an undisputed two. Like how undisputed two had nothing to do with the first movie, only in because Michael John White plays the character of Ving Rhames, which I'm like, first off, Ving Rhames did not have an eight pack, so what are we doing here? But you don't Ving care because he's Mike kick nobody. Yeah, exactly. So people. so it's like at the same time, you love Michael John White, so you're like, all right, I can dig this, you know. I you didn't know. I didn't think that was the same character. You just fucked up my whole head, nigga. Now oh, yeah, I can't watch that movie. It's supposedly the same character. Sure. Yeah, that's sure. Cousin. Right, that's sure. Cousin. <laughs> Got that nigga cousin, nigga. That, that, that's how you no, I thought Roadhouse 2 was nigga this, Kevin. Yeah, I thought Roadhouse 2 was just gonna be like 
it's the sequel, but it's not really connected to the first movie. It's just a different character in a different state. They don't do what what um, Bloodsport did, which is the reason why I'm probably going to give it a chance. Plus, plus Daniel Barnard. Yeah. That ain't Frank Dukes. That's somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Bloodsport so. and Kickboxer. Mm-hmm. Kickboxer did the same thing. It's not the same character. They did it after. And the Universal s- Soldier. I think and Universal s- Soldier. But you know who did? Best of the best. Why? Why would yeah, you they were Best of the best. Line? Best I of the best sh- has sequels. I they feel had best four of them. Four. four. I am still laughing that somehow Eric Roberts was like, oh, I'll do a second one because that felt like that was right for the third actor in that movie. I forgot the guy's name, Asian dude, but like he's actually really few, few, yeah, something like that. Pew, I thought it was going to go to him, but yeah. it didn't go to him until the third and fourth third movie. And the third movie, was, and that I didn't even see the fourth movie because the third movie was so terrible. <laughs> oh, the fourth one is just going through the motions. And yet, at the end of the day, Perfect Weapon never got a sequel. Hey, they knew when the, they knew when the fold. All right. This is so. What's next, Steve? Oh uh, wait, next? hold on. Before wait, before we uh, before we figure out what's next, I was just going to mention, gentlemen. Um, you know how these movies end. Pretty much how that movie ended. The movie ends with, "Hey, I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing either. I didn't see nothing." A polar bear landed on me. Everybody See? yucks it up. Oh, <laughs> and then we, we go back. Go oh, to we go the road house. We go back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a missed opportunity. You should have had dudes singing the song with the word road house in it. <laughs> and it didn't happen. But still, we get full song credits roll. We get airbrushed, uh, airbrushed Patrick, like Patrick Swayze skinny dipping into the river with, uh, Apparently they made up again him and the doc. <laughs> but here's the Are they still swimming in the spot where Jimmy Reynolds got his throat cut out? I do believe he did. It's a fucking did. damn throat in the fucking water still floating. Jimmy's still in there like that. Jimmy's still in there floating. <laughs> did you know uh the Richard Pryor uh uh Gene Wilder movie See No Evil, Hear No Evil, Beat Route Roadhouse yeah. on his opening weekend? Of course it did. That's a classic movie, the by the way. One. Keep in mind, the this weaker. movie. You think that was the weaker one? The weaker, the weaker Gene Wilder, uh, 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 Richard Pryor movie, huh? Keep in mind, Jim Crazy is the best thing in the world. This okay, movie, right. so, this movie made thirty million in the U.S. It already got its money back. Oh yeah, because I don't even think the promotion was even that heavy for Roadhouse. It couldn't have been that heavy. Um, been that heavy. like between the U.S. and Only Canada, the- like between the U.S. and Canada, the movie made thirty million. Meanwhile, the movie made thirty-one million overseas, giving them sixty-one million dollars, and it found new life on cable television. Oh, you but, know the DVD that, sales. But that's, were but that's the biggest story I hear is that the money that it made, and plus, you remember back in the day, it didn't really get even though even though it did well overseas. Ooh, I remember this because I think it was either James Earl Jones or Louis Gossett Jr. as the wise black man. No, movie. no, it doesn't matter. Cuba Gooden Jr. was in it. That's oh, yeah, Cuba but, Gooden Jr. My bad. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah, but here's yeah, the yeah. thing. But here's the thing. What I heard was that movie, even with the return it got, it was still kind of meh. But it was one of those things where, much like when the lights go out in the black uh, black person's house, they planned it. They knew for a fact when it got to the home video market, they was going to eat. And it did. And it, and the, like I said, the one thing they didn't expect it were to be a cult classic that it is today. They did like and speaking the of, fact that we're talking about them making a they're doing a remake is about to come out. They they would have never imagined that when they did it back in the day. And, and speaking of uh you know Joe uh, the bump, this would you believe that this movie Matrix Dodge Bullet Time all the Golden Raspberry Awards? I look here's the they got thing. nominated like said, but didn't win not one like five. I said, I can't fun. understand why critics thought this movie was bad, but Raspberry bad? Bro, the Golden Raspberry Award. Worst picture, worst actor for Patrick Swayze, worst supporting actor, Ben, uh, ben Gazar, worst director, and worst screenplay. First off, Patrick Swayze is acting. Job. I actually kind of get the screenplay. Yeah. Well, come on. <laughs> Patrick Swayze's acting elevated the movie. It worked. Like, sure? It, Patrick no, what Swayze, I, look, look, I hate to be that person. Patrick was acting. He was just. I don't think Patrick tried in this movie. 
He's just being Joe Cool. That's all you had to do. Cool white Roger guy. Ebert. And again, but still, is Roger, that good enough for him to get a Razzie? Come listen, on, man. Roger, e- Roger Ebert said uh, of the was the Chicago Sun-Times gave the movie two and a half out of four stars. Said Roadhouse exists right on the edge between good bad movie and the merely bad movie. I hesitate to recommend it because it's I mean, because so much depends on the ironic vision of the viewer. This is not a good movie, but viewed in the right frame of mind, it's not a boring one either. And guess what saved that movie? It wasn't boring. Yeah, and he was right, and Eber is right in the right frame of mind. Which all three of us was in. This was a fun little movie. Guys, it's a guys, fun movie. Guys, this is guys, a fun flick. Guys, one one black man, one Bruce Leroy Tamac actually did the uh, Broadway play of Roadhouse. He did as the Dalton, blonde wig and all. Can we stop talking now? <laughs> what so we got? What Sorry. we got? What we got next? So everybody, um, we're going to. I promise we're going to do an anime every month, and this month. We're doing a classic. Oh, we yes. are doing Golden Boy. Yes. Now, how <clears throat> now, a story now, if y'all don't know about this, Golden Boy is a story about a guy, and I just seen the picture you put up, Chris. You are a motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, oh, oh, Golden Boy is a story about a Japanese dude who is told no, but perseveres and goes to the next town to learn something else. Also, he gets all of these women wet after they hate him. Through the whole episode, at the, six. End of the, at the end of the episode, they're like, "Come back!" <laughs> and it's awesome. It's and it's one of those animes where you where they had a bunch of directors, a bunch of art, a bunch of art directors, a bunch of writers come together and make something like that. Okay. And yeah, Golden Boy is one of them. And, and we've been talking, me and Eric's been talking about doing this for the last two years, so we're finally going to do it this year. So, but guys. Adult. We see y'all next week on Three Black Geeks.